Uh, um, uh, huh. I, I guess uh, there's no show today. I don't. Uh, oh, here, here, good. He, he can come take charge. Yeah. Tell him, Kyle. Mayhem yeah. at Lens Crafters. <laughs> <laughs> Roback.com, <laughs> R-H-O-P-H-C-K.com. They've got the Azalea Collection back for a limited time, just in time for spring golf. When we say these designs are can't miss, we mean it. Again, Roback's Azalea Collection. Roback.com, 20% off all their hoodies, crewnecks, joggers, and more with code YAK. What's up, everybody? Mm, yo. I assume Big Cat will be along mm. shortly. Mm -hmm. Nick is, yeah. I also assume, in an airport right now, about to board a flight for Boston, headed to Italy. Yeah, I wonder how many drinks he's had. I would say between three and five. Three and five. Three and five. And he'll have a couple on the on the plane. He's going to get off in Boston, he's, like, hungover. His, his anxiety is about the the flying, the it's about all crowded air. There's all of it. All literally of it. all of it. The entire I was led to believe it was just like he wants to make his flight on time. But the way he was talking yesterday, it's that even when the flight takes off, he's still. He doesn't yeah. love Wait, the idea of uh, flying. Wait, do you know his, his real thing is he thinks that he's going to get T-boned midair by another plane. Mm -hmm. Well, I. That's actually kind of. I've thought that before. Yeah. I've never thought that. Whenever that never that happens all the time. Whenever that we're going down to land. Canyon once. I always worry that. Boy, I hope the traffic's clear down there. Yeah. You never think about that? There's t close no. calls more often than you think. Huh. When one plane's But how close is the close call? Google. I feel like every few months there's like, whoops, they almost had a close call at whatever, where this one was taken yeah. off. Is this one? Yeah, Breaking Bad, there was yeah. a very famous instance of planes colliding. Mm. So That looks like a very comfortable Must be hoodie. Must very guy. common. Did I actually trade it up for this? <laughs> What'd you trade for it? Uh, this was like three months ago. Um, my crustiest crew neck to this dude at Planet Fitness. Really? Yeah. You got that? I got this. This is yeah. He didn't know. You jersey swapped at PF? A jersey swap? Yeah. Fucking Da Vinci Jeremy level come up. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> what was the crew neck? It was that Olympic one I never watched. Oh, that was a good one. Yeah, and uh, I felt bad. That was um, one of your best. It uh, got a lot of compliments. He yeah. was always, I was always wearing my best pieces to Planet Fitness, and yeah. the, he was always complimenting them. And I'm like, oh, I'll trade. So he, th but he thinks he also had the come up. Oh, he, he did have the come up. He, I was kidding. You, yeah. Yeah. Who proposed yeah. the trade? Um, he actually just offered. He was like, let me, let me give you one of mine. And I was like, let me give you my that's best. A, that's a crazy <laughs> thing to you. just offer yeah. in Planet Fitness, right? We had a bond. He works there. We had a bond over like vintage clothing. Okay. And you gave him he, I don't even think this is hoodie. vintage, to be honest. You went piece for piece, and that's what well, yeah, you we, brought to the yeah. table? Piece for piece. I, I, I think he was a, a budding, like an as, <laughs> aspiring vintage collector. Why is my mom FaceTiming me during the act? Oh, and no. sir. She, right. she knows and what she's doing. Oh, well, I waited too long, so I'd have to call her back. She calls back. I'll know it's it's something I need to talk to her about. Hmm. Um, She's on a plane headed to Boston. You're saying my my mother, my sweet sainted mother, is Maybe. going to Italy with Nick? Perhaps. <laughs> well, yeah. that, that's the. Only, <laughs> why else would she Facetime? Yeah, <laughs> that would be. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you gotta Facetime her back. Right, yeah, I need to know. How could I, this be? I um. And then she texted me, what's your email at work? Well, that could mean anything. Probably just needs my email, though, to be honest. Oh, if she asked what, that? Yeah. Why well, She doesn't have your... She said my work email. Yeah, like what, I'm not real what, sure what's what going on? Like, Why would doing? she want to send something to your work email but not your personal? That's email. a good question. Hey. What's your email at work? It's, well, no, I'm not going to tell you now. I'm on the yak. What do you want? You FaceTime me during the yak. Okay, bye. <laughs> yeah, we cleared that up pretty quick. Yeah, that, yeah. Was, that was easy. <laughs> yeah. That was easy. Yeah. Um, all right. Big Cat will be along. Uh, he said he'd be here in two minutes. All right, word. Uh, right. I'm sure you guys already talked basketball. We did, and we talked for about 15 minutes before you got here. Mm -hmm. What's up, boys? Hello. Hello. Mm -hmm. That was a long ponytail That's on that guy. Great ponytail. Did you watch Caitlin Clark, Kyle? I watched the whole game. It was fantastic mm -hmm. on both sides. Yeah. I admire her composure above all things. She's very good at basketball. One of the best I've ever seen. Yeah, no, she she was. She takes some du um, dumb shots, yeah. Dumb, dumb shots. shots say, you, don't have to, you don't have yeah. to look at me. Yeah. yeah, yeah, she does. That's part of the game, though. Yeah. yeah. Like, her, her, her missing those shots. We talked to Jack Olkey about that, that, like, 
it's it's you don't even have to make them. It's like the fact that you're insane enough to take them strikes the fear of God into defenses. Your willingness Throws to take them off because they've studied you on tape and they they know that you're going to take shots from anywhere. But then to see it actually happen in real life, you're like, what the fuck? When you're guarding someone like that, that's that viral yeah. clip of her defender being like, well, yeah. Yeah. I don't fucking know what to and, do. And she also she, does she it. Makes them every so often. Yeah, she she does it in the flow of the oh. game too. Like she'll make two in a row, and in the third one, she's shooting from like forty feet. Hey guys, sorry. Hey. hey, hey Dan. Are you guys talking about Kyle pandering? Yeah. Yeah. We haven't got to that word specifically. Yeah, and you know what? Kyle's still. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's a good looking no, hoodie. No, I like the hoodie. No, no, my tee's better. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you got for your tee? It's a North Face tee. North Face. That is that is a hard tee. That's a La Puma fit right there. Yeah. No, I oh, I forgot to tell you that I'm I I'm getting La Puma's number and we're gonna get it hooked up. All right. Well, that should be like a five minute thing. Yeah, we're gonna. Oh. We're going to get it. La Puma and, and Kyle are going to do a video. Together. Is he going to come here? I don't know. We might have to go there. I would love to. Yeah. Me, Where's you? there? New York. Split a hotel room. Yeah, two of how us. Does, how does the show work? Does he, like, go to a store, shoe stores around? He goes to, like, does he? I think he rotates have, a few. One, like, one in L.A., one in New York. Most okay. recent one was in Connecticut, I believe. Oh, so maybe he can come here. Triple yeah, so he, he could come here and you guys could find a store to go to in Chicago? Hmm. Yeah. Kyle yeah, no, no. What were you guys talking about? Sorry, I'm late. We just started basketball. We just started Caitlin Clark in basketball. She's pretty good at basketball. No. Yeah, she's pretty damn good at basketball. Dude, I'm I'm just getting hit to fucking Kim Mulkey. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. She sucks. Uh, she's, <laughs> she's she's I love her. I, I, love, I love her too. too. <laughs> Titus doesn't love her. Oh, no, dude, I've been a fan of hers for a while now. <laughs> she's well, at first I thought she was a tried and true homophobe, but then I found out she's from. Tick Faw, Louisiana. Yeah, she is yeah. from the Stick Sticks. Do you know how hard it must be to be gay or LGB in Tick Faw, Louisiana? She's closeted. Oh. <laughs> oh. You think? I like that. That's classic closeted Deep South behavior. It, yeah. I get that vibe a little bit. She's like yeah. the uh, she's like yeah. the the uh, Marine in American Beauty. Yeah. Mm. Who kills yeah. Kevin Spacey. Is he they, they compensate by no, having, but like, just like, hard ass. like a hard ass and yeah. then being like, well, actually, I just want to steal what a the kiss. the fucking Tick Fall? Tick Fall? Louisiana? Tick oh, Fall? Wow. I didn't oh. say Tick Fall. <laughs> tick Fall. Now, what parish is that in? My God. The crazy one. Tangabahoa. Tangabahoa Parish. Yeah. So that's barely in Louisiana. Italian yeah. American. Yeah. She was awesome at basketball. The the population of Tick Fall is six hundred and ninety four. Tick Fall, dude. That's probably just a wide spot in the road. Then that's not really even a town. Dude, gay dudes in the deep south are just now getting comfortable putting like putty in their hair. <laughs> 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 they gotta hide the high I, I low know, shine Kyle, and shoebox. Uh, Coming from the deep south, I mean, I I I think the gays are more present than. No, I got hit on, but right before I met my wife, I got hit on. You didn't real get those are the on, ones bro. who go full flamboyant because they don't have anyone. To, you didn't get uh, hit on. I did. 2005 at the Hunt Club in Starkville, Mississippi. Little John and the East Side Boys were going from the window to the <laughs> Wait, wall. Little John. Oh. <laughs> little John the East Side Boys. I thought it was. I thought you were saying Little John. No. And the East Side Boys that was hit on you. Like a, a, a rival gang. gang. Gay gang from the window showed up. Was like, Let me the suck wall your dick. <laughs> until sweat dropped off our balls. Oh, what a song! And there was uh, there was this dude, and I was. Just standing there watching all the girls dance and he just walked up to me and then and he was like hey what are you doing how do you look gay how so? wait so you were sitting there watching all the girls so yeah, he I probably was, was like i was just right off the he probably came up to you and was like but yeah I, think I, had, I don't want to touch him either i think i had wandered into gay corner there yeah were, because you were just oh, staring yeah no there was a there was a big room big room uh and you know i'd been around the edge of the dance floor and then i was in the corner with a bunch of dudes that were all talking to each other and I think I'd wandered in the gay corner. Yeah, because there's a gay corner and an actual, like, afraid to talk to guys corner, girls corner. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Yeah, and I was in the so, wrong corner. Yep. What? But uh, those can be, those corners can mix. Sometimes. Yeah. Then there is some some overflow, and I got in the gay corner, and then, uh, you know, he, he said, he said, you know, stuff, and, and then I was, I was, just say? Like, I was just like, cool, he liked my shirt. He said, come here, big boy. So a guy complimented you and you yeah. got hit on by a gay Danny guy. Was gay. He was gay as fuck. I don't know what to tell you. He was, he was gay. I complimented you. How do you know he was gay? How did you know he was gay? How did you know he was gay? He was, he, guys, he did was gay. Did he have gay. a cock in his mouth? Yeah, did you see? He did not have a cock in his mouth. <laughs> as he was sucking my penis, it dawned on me, yeah. this might be a gay man. Hey, holy <laughs> shit, dude. But I'm talking like the, the dudes whose dad is like a football coach. Yeah. Yeah. They're not going full flamboyant. 
No, no, there's definitely a lot of closeted gays. There's some that are, are flamboyant because you're right, they don't really, they, they, they couldn't hide it. And mm-hmm. we average about one gay a town, I think. Who is that pitcher? Statistically, probably high. Oil, oil can Boyd? Yeah. Dennis Boyd? Well, he wasn't gay. He did crack? Yeah, but that's not gay. <laughs> Before every one game. One oil can Boyd was just on crack. He's from Meridian. I bet you. Crack will make you know who else is gay. from Meridian? Yeah, a lot of people. Big Crit. Big Crit is from Meridian. Haley Williams from Paramore. That's, uh, yeah, Seal Award. What did you the do last night? The most prolific New York Times crossword answer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, a lot of people from Meridian. Did you do some research last night? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was too obvious. Yeah, no, I, I love it. I love much. when it, when you show up to a yak and it's like, Kyle's been reading. Yeah, I got to make up for yesterday. He, why? What happened yesterday? I was all loopy. Oh, were you? How was the oh, show after we left? It was a little bad. Yeah. Worse. You're yeah. tired. Damn. It was rough. Something we had no off. rhythm. We didn't know y'all were leaving until y'all left. Oh, he Except said we were leaving. Yeah, we, you had told we, us we were leaving. Advance. Yeah, weeks. I, yeah, really deep down in my heart, I didn't believe you. Mm. Yeah. And I thought you weren't going to leave us, but you did. I found out yesterday Titus doesn't like hot dogs. What? No, no, just, yeah, just, you just didn't order one, probably. No, I got up to get us hot dogs. Like, you want a hot dog? He's like, yeah. And I didn't say, well, back. first of all, I didn't say yeah. I was like, eh, and you go, I'll get you one. Yeah. That's how and then I, I came I back and yes. I handed it to him and he goes, I don't want this. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I just don't. <laughs> He's like, I gotta be honest, I don't really like. Sounds hot like dogs. you had two hot dogs. Yeah. Uh no, I give it to Chief. Mm. Yeah. I don't mind hot dogs, but yeah, I don't. That was the last thing I wanted was a hot dog. Yeah. Did you win the raffle? Mm, no. Ah. Damn. <laughs> how how much money is is invested in that sheet? Right, right that was three. See, I only got, and I actually, actually, one, Titus, I forgot to tell you this. So. I want to win the raffle so bad. If I ever win the 50-50 raffle, I'll still be down in my life. Uh, no one told me that my fly was down. That was brutal. <laughs> Just all the way down. But why is that? Why is there a stigma that it's that's brutal? I think your penis could flop out. Yeah. But it didn't. No. We should shut. Uh, it was cold. My penis you was cold anyway. You want to start the flies start down? treating zippers down like cleavage. Yeah. Yo. If you oh. got the meat for it. I don't hate that. But I so we went to the bar. It started to rain on us, so we went to the bar to watch the last two innings. And I went to look for the raffle for the uh, numbers. And when you go to the website to look for the numbers, you can buy more. So yeah, I you bought buy, more. You bought more, and I actually was pretty close on those numbers. Oh, really? The, yeah. If the, I had bought more, like maybe five minutes earlier, I would have won. <laughs> so yeah, that was four hundred bucks down the drain at the fifty fifty raffle. Sucks. So I'm gonna win someday. The guy next to you won eight years ago. And yeah, I wonder if he actually ended up. I was seeing he he every now and then he'll tweet me a picture. It was like a group of guys in the bleachers, like maybe eight nine years ago, and they won with the tickets they bought right after mine, and then like they took a pic. They made me take a picture with them after. And you got after the number? Won. No, they. I don't. What? I have their number. He said you. Said he texts you? Tweets. No, no, he tweets uh, me. I'm tweets. gonna see if he tweeted it. You asked the lady how how much money worth of fifty <laughs> fifty can I buy before it makes your life uncomfortable having to sit here and print it all out? And she goes, I would say like a hundred dollars <laughs> would it would take a while to print it all out. And you're like, cool, give me $300. Yeah, I was like, oh, man. well, you want to sit? I, I was like, you want to sit right there? We can just do 300 <laughs> Yeah, they had to redo. They had to get, she had to get an extra roll of paper. Yeah. Oh. I ran them out. Some days going to be my day. Is that guy winning next to you like your Joker origin story? Yeah, I got to find him. I, I want to find the picture because it's, mm. oh, man, he's, yeah, he'll send it to me every now and then. It just make me sad every time. Yeah. But yeah, someday. If you win, is there an expectation that you like donate some of it, or is it just like no? It's, it's what? Total it's, years? it's already donated. It's fifty fifty. This is the Cubs. This isn't like a, a local <laughs> high school raffle. Oh, with the high school. Uh, yeah, I thought that, that that I didn't know. But it's that. already donated. They keep because that's of the it. fifty. Yeah, it's the fifty. Okay. Yeah, but in in like the small towns and stuff, it's like oh, you win, give it back to mm-hmm. whatever. Okay. So no. No, I mean the worst was when I went to the Toledo game and I had, uh, I had, I think we, I think we just did the math. I had eighteen percent of the whole pot. Yeah, <laughs> that was bad. I tried to pull a U at the Antioch high school baseball and softball fundraiser a couple of weeks ago, and the only problem is I spent a hundred dollars. They were a dollar a piece. You had to sign every ticket. Yeah, uh, I've been doing like that. And oh. so I had to, 
I had to no. then except it wasn't actually it wasn't a hundred dollars for a hundred tickets. It was a hundred dollars for it was it was it was ten dollars an arm length. So ten times she did this and gave me all the tickets. I had to sign all those tickets. Damn. Are you still lost? Still lost. Mm, Do you have to lost. stand there like that so she could measure them out? Well, she said, "Do your arms," and I said, "No, I'd rather do your <laughs> arms." And we ended up doing her arms, and that's how many tickets I got. Oh, damn, I have to find this fucking picture. Tia, can you find it? They tweeted at me every now and then, just saying, "Remember that time we won the fifty-fifty raffle sitting next to you," and it it hurts me every time. That's fucked up. It is. The pyrotechnics were amazing. Oh, yeah, we yeah, should watch that, that video. Wow. Jaw dropping. It's beautiful. Pyrotechnics. Like you guys see this? No. Never yeah, the Cubs anything. went all out for opening day. They fucking lit the world on fire. Yeah. This could be dangerous. I'm actually surprised you guys didn't see anything f- from, from here. here. Well, we were inside. We heard it. What the you have? could feel a like sonic Chinese boom. shit? Yeah. Yeah. It was <laughs> fucking nuts. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was afraid the this. players were going to get burned. Hold on. Yeah. If you. Oh! Yep. If you have seizures, <laughs> look away. <laughs> that was it. You're epileptic. Dude, I got more sparkles ordering bottle service than <laughs> fucking Top Golf. That, that, <laughs> that, that was one of those moments that I, I said to Titus right away. I was like, thank God we won a World Series because the Cubs have a tendency of doing these things, and it used to be looked at in a different light. They like The famous one was like 10 years ago, Ron Santo died, and they had a bunch of kids sign the card, and they had this like big, like, Oh, Ron Santo died. Here's the card. And then, like an hour later, a reporter found the card in the dumpster next to Wrigley. Oh, and, and thrown oh. it out. <laughs> yeah, there was another one when they were renovating Wrigley. The you know the bricks that you can buy in yeah. front. Mm-hmm. Like a reporter found that like they had just thrown out all the bricks. How how long does it go until you're sad again? You haven't won a World Series in a while. I, is it I like fifty years? Cubs is like is it forever? I, I another hundred years? Lifetime? Yeah, lifetime? Another okay. hundred? I, I want to win every year, but like I I legitimately, if they never win another. But one, if, if you're like sixty two, and they haven't won one since sixteen, do you get sad again, or are you like? No? I won't be no. You don't, you don't get sad. You just get like yeah. Be, I would like to win, yeah, yeah. but not like mm. no. Yeah, there, a sense of fulfillment comes over you once they won, and it's yeah. like oh. oh, there it is. You don't really look at this. Oh, These are the fucking man. guys. That's a good crew. Yeah, that is scroll good. down. Yeah, yeah, that's it. They oh my god, god. Right I didn't even see his big fucking jack dude. Whoa. That's a really good crew. They were sitting right nice next face. to me and they won Long the 50. Crew. They bought like ten dollars worth. I'd rather them win anyway. Oh, I hope yeah. they're still friends. Look at young cat. That's a good song. Uh, they probably have had a fall. I don't think all of them are still friends, but most of them are. I'd say three of them are still super tight. Yeah, the guys right in front of me. Oh, that was okay. the World Series year, too. Yeah, wow. Yeah, I've I've how was the Somewhere. crowd? How was the uh, like? It was good. The ambiance. Uh, it was rainy, but it was good. In, in terms of fandom, where do um, Cubs fans like intensity tear up against the other big ones? What do you mean? The Cubs fans go hard, like, uh, like, like drinking or like, like, like yelling, fandom, like intensity. Like Phillies fans, like Philadelphia yes. has like crazy. I think. The Cubs fans are, care the most. Do they care? Care a lot, but yeah. yeah. yeah but they're not angry care. Yeah, are there oh, ever, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think we're really that Are angry. there ever fist yeah. fights up in the nosebleeds? Or There's no? fighting in the bleachers. Oh, there was that one that was Fight, a couple yeah, years ago, bleachers, that guy just yeah. screaming, no fighting in the bleachers. That ruled. Because people were just like flying everywhere, and yeah. this one guy was just like, "Hey, there's no fighting in the bleachers." Yeah, but if you're like, if you're like a a Rockies fan, you're not going to get yelled at in Wrigley Field for being a Rockies no. fan. No, 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 nothing like that. No. So I think no. it's a care, but not like an aggressive. So like yeah. Yeah, probably Yankees at the top, Red Sox at the top. I'd say Phillies. Phillies are way Phillies. up. Phillies are up there. Yeah. Phillies, Yankees, Red Sox. The friendly confines. Yeah. I had trouble yeah. with Philly other Phillies fans at a Padres game in San Diego. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What the fuck? What'd you do to him? Nothing. Like nothing. The guy was just hammered. I was like, and the a Padres fans, he called me ugly. Mm. And the Padres fans were like, she's lovely. And I was like, thanks. It was a whole thing. It was my, many years ago. I'm sorry. My so. boy got beat up by a girl at an Eagles game. <laughs> Another Eagles fan. What? Hell yeah. Yeah. He was like talking. I don't know. He was like hammered. But this girl like snatched his chain and punched him in the face. And he couldn't do anything about it. Just Did he get nowhere? beat up or he just took one? He got jumped? He took one. Yeah, he got jumped. Can, yeah, can you call it beat up if That's you can't a, yeah. fight well, back? You, you can't did fight him dirty back. by yeah. saying so, got well, beat up. He did get beat up. Yeah, but he can't fight back. I, I th- if when, when can you fight back? Your chain, huh? it's when worth, is it okay to fight back? If the chain's worth a lot, like yeah. you can hit a girl, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right? I think if it's over, yeah, let's put a value on it. Over a thousand. Seven point five. 
Seven point five. Seven point five. Then you can. Seven point five. What? A change? Seven thousand five hundred dollars? Then you can. Oh, you're definitely fighting at that point. Yeah. Yeah, That's not. That's not how you say seventy. No, that's. Yeah, it's like. I don't do numbers. I don't do numbers. I don't do numbers. Seven dollars. Seven point five. I have trouble. A seven thousand dollar chain is a fight. No, that's a hair pull. You can't. You can't. (laughs) You can't fight back. I don't know if you can punch someone. You need to have another girl be like, oh, handle your business. You have to punch a dude that she's with. Yeah, no, that's you can not, do that. You can I don't do that. know if I like that though, because with this dude, you don't know. He didn't sign up for he that. He didn't sign. Yeah, he does. It could be the first well, you date. You didn't sign up for your chain getting pulled. But why does the dude get to get? Why are you punching the dude in the face? Well, you, you can't didn't do punch anything? her. You can't punch her. You if he's going like this, sorry, then you yeah. can't. Oh, but, but then you point at him and tell him to get her. Take yeah, care of this. What do you mean? So he get her, punches Brandon. her. Yeah, what do you mean? No, you. What does that mean? Oh, you're definitely a like control your bit. No, you. Oh, no. <laughs> definitely so Keep your dog on a leash. In the scenario. You put a dog on a leash. That's cool, Brandon. In the scenario, she yeah. laid Those out. Those words have definitely come out of Brandon's mouth. She just laid out a scenario where the guy's like, oh, I don't know. If, if in, that, in that case, you got to get on his ass. Brandon, you're a control your bitch control guy. Control your bitch wow. guy. Yeah. Sounded yeah. too okay. familiar. Yeah. Never said the that words. Control right your bitch. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, put a leash on her. <laughs> What's more acceptable to uh, just open hand slap a woman as a man or spit on her face? Ooh. <laughs> spit on her face. Right? I would say the worst of all is the backhand. Oh. Uh, it's a, I would oh. rather be slapped forward than backwards. Um, I would rather be slapped than spit on, I think. Cause that's, you but can, one takes out all like the gender advantages, the spit. The spit is, it, I mean... Spit is the lowest thing you can do. It's the worst. Yeah. yeah, it's like... I don't really get a men- drink sh- thrown on me. I'm thinking if it, if it came down to it. Yeah. Spitting is mentally tougher. Obviously, hitting is physically a little tougher, but I think the spit would stick with you longer. Like can you ever been in a fight? couple, yeah. She was in war. You know, a fight, fight. It's like a big fight. I but yeah, isn't war just one big fight? That might be the biggest. Yeah. yeah. It's just Had like a... one big fight. Junior <laughs> year of college. Yeah. exactly what it is. A mostly sports sponsor had a whole thing of it. Mm. Uh, uh-huh. and oh, yeah. There was uh-huh. chairs. It was like a WWE. There was hair pulling, chairs. And then the next day, we were all like, well, that was weird. Do you want to go get lunch together? Like a Waffle House fight? Wait, it was it, like yeah. a Waffle House. It was a fight within your group? My own roommates. Yeah. Oh, you fought your roommates? Yeah. Uh, didn't do well. Like you were living with these people, and you just started brawling. Yeah. Was it <laughs> was it one v one v one or was yeah, it one v two? There was four of us in a very small apartment. Tensions had been building for quite some time. Oh. We decided to pregame with an enormous bottle of uh-huh. a sponsor, and I don't know quite what happened yet. It's a little fuzzy, but I know there was chairs going. Like Wait, there was. So how did it end though? Because that's very dangerous. Like a fight in. In private, like any fight that happens in like the bleacher yeah. or at a bar, basically both sides are fighting, just hoping someone will come break it up. Mm-hmm. So it's like we can stop doing this. Definitely stalling it out. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. Like be like yeah. someone step in here. But a fight in private with like no one there to be like to hey, stop break it. it up. I believe because the roommate to the next to me, she woke up. She had blood on her pillow. <laughs> I woke up. I had scratches. I felt terrible. And I believe it like we all just scrambled after it. We just like ran into our somebody ran into their room and then everybody just scattered like cockroaches back to their own rooms. Brandon called the landlord. But, control yeah. your bitches. Yeah, control your <laughs> bitches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, that fucking hey, apartment twenty two D. Control your bitches. That was a big yeah. college thing though. Just have like a major blowout. Yeah. When you're blacked out and then wake up and just go about life. We were totally all yeah. totally cool then. I feel like we needed it. And none of us knew how to fight anyway, so it was like nobody was really going to get. Yeah, it's like healthy. Yeah, yeah. we needed it. Uh, In the slap defense, aren't, aren't guys way better at spitting than women? No, you should. S- <laughs> well, Someone's never gotten their cock spit on. Time out. As far as like a, a spit, a spit Steven's ever got his cock spit on. <laughs> Compared to, play. to uh, a slapping advantage, you think? If you're like, if you're, like, ha- do women like huck loogies? Yes. I think, yeah. 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 Also, spitting, spitting is kind is, of an important tool. Women poop. Wait, too. I think, if I think you, uh, different. If you're, if you're, spitting if you're, is if you're, a gender thing? If you're spitting yeah, in someone's face, face you're, you're hucking a loogie, no? But it's not about like how much it hurts you. It hurts. It's just about the principle like that is the most disrespectful thing you can do to someone, regardless of the, the power and size and torque of the loogie. Yeah. Wasn't there a famous spitting that happened in Flavor of Love? 
Oh, hoops in New York? Yeah. No, no, pumpkin. Pump, yeah, pumpkin. Someone spit in someone's face. It was pumpkin spit in New York's face. Yeah. Actually. Pulled that like and that? It was like a big... Dude, I love that fan. show. Was, yeah. Oh, my Very, God, that show was... It was incredible. an iconic moment in American oh. culture. Do you pumpkin remember? was ratchet. I think, like, even, too, if I was getting taken down and jumped, like, and my last action was to, like, spit... Like, that's a badass way to go down. Like, I feel like it saves she you... She went down spitting? Yeah. She was still, like... <laughs> yeah. She did get that spit. I don't know. We can't watch the we can't watch Flavor of Love, can we? Probably uh, not. Probably not. Uh, no. yeah. Do you remember Might the go. Philly spitter? Do you remember? The I remember video? the puker. Do you remember the Philly spitter? I remember the no. guy who puked on a whole family. That happened. Yes, yeah. I remember that. What is this? Uh, the Philly spitter is Eagles were playing the Saints in the playoffs. Saints beat us, and a Philly fan was talking shit to a Saints fan, and as he walked away, the Saints fan was recording it. This dude just hocked a loogie right in his face. I went oh. to high school with the guy. I want to watch that. Guy I wanna yeah, I want to see that. Then what happened? That. Did he get his ass beat? Or The the guy that got spit on went on like national television. Oh, that's like, rules. this guy's a scumbag. Oh. I also sent TJ the, the bleacher fight, the no fighting in the bleachers, which is just... No the oh, he made a song oh about God. it. What is the dude is this the a real shorts <laughs> doing? Yeah. Is this Hurts a real him? fight? Yeah. <laughs> that guy was at the bottom and they came out like he was on top the whole thing. Oh, there's... <laughs> Yeah, once it, Oh, quick, quick. When you get everyone off and they're still swinging. The other thing about Wrigley that's distinctly Wrigley, and they've changed it a little in these past years, but for the longest time, all the ushers were like one week away from dying. That's yep. how old they yeah. were. Yep. Like you you'll yep. go you'll go and maybe not in the bleachers as much, but you'll go into a section and there'll be a woman that's like she was on the Titanic. Yeah. yeah. And she's checking your seat. <laughs> oh. Oh wow! Oh it's, yeah, like yeah, look, yeah, at look at this guy. guy. Yeah, this security no guard way. is not he equipped. That's a big oh, old this war. just went on forever that and ever. Girlfriend or yeah. his foe? The girls are all very cute. I don't think they're what enemies. it's worth. Yeah, I think so. Danny Rocket is a he's he's got season tickets in the bleachers. He made this song. I think he was the one who's taking the video. Too. Oh, she's just calling everybody out. Yeah. <laughs> great song oh look at her and this guy just look trying to be song. like hey Aww. just listen to me this, look yeah at this. he was the one who was yelling no fighting in the bleachers get your bitch in line <laughs> as if that's a rule that everyone will stop and be like oh shit you're right <laughs> <laughs> I just love that idea that everyone's like oh you're right there is yeah. no fighting in the bleachers yeah, yeah we gotta chill good point <laughs> All right, guys. Like, take your shoes off I wanna see the spit though but yeah yeah I sent it to TJ. This was like, this happened, and every we went to school the next day, and everyone was like, holy fuck, do you see what Tom did? Like, it was he on, was, like, um, Good Morning America. He was just a, a high school boy. He was boy. in high school and he did it? He was right out of high school. I think I was a sophomore. Is this in New Orleans? No. Oh. <laughs> Let's go to Seattle, baby! So that's the Saints Let's fan. Let's go to Seattle! Let's go! It's kind of being an asshole, though. We're the low seed. We go to Seattle. Let's go! Oh, someone tried to correct him. Buddha! 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 Here it comes. Buddha! Buddha! What? Why? Oh, he's saying. Oh, he told him. <laughs> that plays. He yeah. said. He gave a warning. <laughs> <laughs> he gave a full warning. I'm gonna spin. Yeah, re yeah. under review, I accepted. <laughs> yeah. He told him, he's like, yeah. I'm going to spit in your face. Yeah, he said it twice. That was very sad, though. The Eagles fan is like, You're going to Carolina. He's like, No, we're the lower we're the seat. We're the lower seat. Yeah. <laughs> I miss that. would be like, To try to correct someone. <laughs> Actually, it's yeah. like a camel. What? You can't get him too stirred up, or otherwise, I'm gonna it's gonna spit happen. Spit in your face. I'm gonna yeah. Spit in your face. That rocked. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that Saints fan was very sad the next week because that was the Marshawn Lynch game, right? Cause no, I won. The no, game was that a was a wild card, card game. Oh, it was. that was when the oh, when the Seahawks won. Was I this? Think they were eight, seven, and nine. Was this the NFC? I think it's seven, eight, and one. Yeah, it's below five hundred. The Seahawks were. Yeah, you're right. Huh. This was. I just wanted the Saints fan to be. This was probably 2015. I wanted the Saints fan to be upset because Carolina beat the Seahawks in the NFC Championship game in 2015. Huh. Happy we figured that out. Yeah, we did it. We did. Mm-hmm. We got that. Hey, Stephen, welcome back. Thanks. All right. <laughs> okay. mm. Good totally stuff bad. there. He's fired up today. <laughs> yeah, damn, dude. Don't come at me like I'm that. I'm happy to be back. I'm happy to be back. Uh, just not to 
in his other, he says, describe the best coleslaw you've ever had. <laughs> How would you describe any coleslaw? They're all t- They're all the same. Uh, wet? Creamy? That might be, a little creamy? Yeah, wet. There's no parody in the coleslaw <laughs> game. Oh, some jalapeno in Coleslaw there? is coleslaw. What's yours wet. then, I guess? Describe yours. I put, like, a gargantuan amount of pepper on my coleslaw, so it's basically a pepper salad. Um, <laughs> Like what? Gargantuan amount. Like the f- vegetable or the seasoning? Uh, like salt and pepper, the seasoning. A pepper salad. <laughs> you have so, a pepper salad. Describe the best coleslaw you've ever had. So you're, the best coleslaw you've ever had is bad coleslaw because you had to put so much seasoning on it. No, I like it. I mean, jalapeno pepper is in there for sure. Not too mayo-y. Um, I don't think you're describing But just by definition of the fact that you have to yeah, douse yeah. it in pepper means it's no, no, not, Mark, you Mark. don't like it. Titus, Titus, Titus. Seasoning <laughs> shit. Wake up. I do that with all coleslaws. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think you like coleslaw. I do. This is this is mind numbing. No, it's I, good. I can't. It's I can't. I can't, I can't do this conversation. What I would like to talk about is: Have you ever seen anybody get olives from the olive bar at the grocery? <laughs> <laughs> that, <laughs> that, <laughs> that. Have you? I haven't. Is that on it? Never. <laughs> or, the, the coleslaw. Get, get that shit out of my face. It's boring <laughs> as fuck. Let's get to yeah, the meat. Let's. Oh, yeah. I have a follow right. up to that question. <laughs> How old do you think those olives are? Yeah. No. Oh, that's a great question, Brandon. Oh, I could talk about this for hours. Enough with the prelims. <laughs> yeah, the all- olives with the olive Shit. Are, are olives low-key a tasty delight? <laughs> I think so. What's wrong with you? Well, Have I you guys ever seen anyone get those olives at the olive bar? I've never, yes. ever. I don't really years. watch what people are Yeah, doing. I don't yeah. know, yeah. man. But Maybe. they definitely get, like, at Whole Foods you're talking about? Yeah, yeah, any grocery yeah. store that has it. Yeah. yeah, those people definitely get those olives. What were you has on? To be, I've ne- I, years of grocery shopping. I've never seen anyone even in the radius of, of the olive. <laughs> in the radius? Why do you I think sh- it's there? It can't. I be. mean, I assume it does well, but I. In the radius. Who's going up and just scooping olives that are just out in the people open? that want olives? Probably. I don't know. Yeah. If you do I like olives. Distinctly remember anyone getting mushrooms or? There's not like a mushroom bar though. Like olives have a he bar. He's right about that. They do have their own yeah. bar. I didn't know that. Yeah, at high end grocery stores, they have the bar. Like it's people making charcuterie shit. I think there's a small community of people that will get the soups at a soup bar at a, at a grocery. Yeah, store. I don't. I do that. I do that. Yeah, I yeah, but know. I think when you ever somebody else is is there and you're like, hey, we're both soup guys at this grocery store. No. Mm-hmm. Uh-uh. Unfortunately, well, I'm like head down at the grocery store. I'm not looking at anyone. You think there's people that mix the soups like they do the suicide for the sodas? Oh, oh. Ooh. they should. And which ones would work? Suicide. Oh. Yeah, nothing would work. Like Cream. chili and clam chowder would be awful. Cream of mushroom or creamy broccoli and tomato. That would work. Would it? Broccoli mm. cheddar and tomato. Oh. I don't. Know. I don't think so. Chicken tomato noodle tomato. and beef stew. Barley mixed with. Chicken noodle and beef stew. That's kind of like a surf and turf. Well, no, that's, you know, that's, that's not. That's no, turf and turf. 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 No, it'd be turf, turf. And turf. 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 That's turf squared. Not to be confused with Stephen Shea's surf and turf football podcast. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Did you see that Martha Stewart post the other day? The turkey with the lobster. It was like a turducken with a lobster in it. No. Oh. She look hot. Yes. It was like a $200 New York City. It's a turducken, but a lobster anyway. But, is the yeah. lobster tail just stuffed into the you, turkey? I don't know if you could pull it up, but it's it's kind of troubling, her. actually. You'd think it'd be good, but it looks it's like very upsetting looking. What are the things what are the things they put on the, the, the potpourri that smell well good? The t- the table on like the Oh po- is that potpourri? not potpourri. No, you're thinking Yeah, I think it's you're not right. Do you though. think her pussy smells like that? Yes. Mm. Yeah. You think Martha Stewart's Stewart? pussy smells like potpourri? I don't know if potpourri's still, the right thing. I'm still doing decided. potpourri. I mean, potpourri is a good smelling thing. You're still doing it? My mom does. Like, had as a it. Yeah, society, we're still doing potpourri. Potpourri's still like, out there. Like, yeah. like, what is it? What is potpourri? I don't even know what potpourri is. Potpourri is, uh, is, like is, is stuff you put in a bowl of smoke. Fragrance. fragrance. Right. Yeah, yeah, right. So, do you think her pussy smells like that? I feel like it smells one. I think it smells more like a kitchen, doesn't it? Like Thanksgiving. No, I think it smells like this shit. No, I think it. I think Mook's onto it. I think it smells like a good Thanksgiving. Maybe like a steam room, like a day spa. Her pussy smells like no. eucalyptus. You don't no, think? I, I think my bad. Smells. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, you're she, all, you all got it wrong. Here's here's what it smells. Like. She'd be like top most. She'd be top of the list. Most disappointed that if her pussy didn't smell good. No, I, I, I see it. I see the opposite. I haven't. I would love so? it. I, I would love it. Her shit Do you want her pussy? Stank. Bu- bubble Stank. bass and shit. <laughs> you gotta. Every, everybody has like one vice or like one thing that you let go. <laughs> you know, you, everyone has a drunk drawer in your house, no matter how tidy you are. Yeah. yeah. 
That's Martha Stewart. It's her place. She lets it go. Yeah. She's like, I, everything else is put together well, but I let that thing go. <laughs> she she takes care of every batteries in there. Man. A deck of cards in her pussy. <laughs> um, I don't know what you were on First when one you to made touch today's pussy. other, man. <laughs> what? Oh, yes. Who in the office do you think would be the best at shooting up a crumpled up piece of paper oh, that was into close. the garbage? <laughs> Yesterday was how many M&Ms could you fit in your belly on? button? Was the question on the sheet? I mean, a, a lot. I could fit a question. lot. That's a great. Really? I have a deep belly button. It's a great topic. Didn't we put something in your belly button before? Oh, yeah, we, put we put things some in dimes. Belly. I think. Huh. It's a great topic. Um, did you guys see? I had a couple things I brought. Uh, did you see White Sox Dave make the entire internet upset at him? That was awesome. I yeah. I, I wore his ass out today. It's the well, you well, said well, Walter Payton. Huh? Yeah. It wasn't very athletic. <laughs> It's the dumbest thing anybody's <laughs> ever said about sports. I, I, last night I got home, I see Walter Payton trending. I was like, oh, I'm going to click on this, see what's up. And it's just a bunch of people being like, every couple weeks, someone from Barst some of those Barstool bros says the dumbest <laughs> thing possible. And they're not and wrong. And then it's just a clip of White Sox Dave being like, yeah, he wasn't that shifty. The guy they're named running, <laughs> He might have been. He, he's one of the three shiftiest players in the history of the NFL. <laughs> Did he double down? If, I, oh, yeah, yeah. I looked it up this morning. I just watched a, a highlight tape of Walter Payton. First of all, his highlight tape is 37 minutes long. He's just fucking and just shifting the and first clip everyone. is him making three moves in the backfield and putting putting dudes on the ground. It's it's a crazy – it's the but dumbest I love thing he's it. ever said. What because, caused him to say it? Uh, they were just him being him. Backyard football players. And I just love the idea of, like, the world every few months just getting exposed to White Sox <laughs> brain. Yeah. And it's just great. It's just like they can't handle it. His brain's too – it's too beyond what the internet can handle. They but just, it's so pure, though. It's yeah. It's so pure. No, that's like. – yeah, and he's, he's staying <laughs> adamant. He was just like, yeah, Google lied. He didn't run a 4-4. Is it possible he got him confused with someone else? No. I think he, he I think he saw one of those TikToks of like nineties basketball was trash and now he thinks every old yeah. athlete is He like also was comparing him to Barry Sanders. he's like Barry Sanders was, is like who you'd want in backyard football. I was like, Well, Barry Sanders was like the most elusive guy ever. So if you compare him yeah. to Barry Sanders, like but, stopping on a dime. But you also can compare yes, Walter Payton to Barry Sanders. He's one of the only people you can. He's in the conversation. Yes. I've never yeah. seen Walter Payton play, but is he like a power guy both he, he did both. his nickname was sweetness so yeah. that should give you at least a little bit of he could he could shake you at the line he could do spin moves he could reverse field he could also run you over he also could play quarterback and i said that to dave yeah. and he was like that's actually a good point for backyard football yeah so. he could do everything <laughs> <laughs> he was like decent point he was also on soul train in college hmm. and from he's from uh columbia mississippi and go. jackson state university yep Shit. but he was on he literally left Jackson. They thought he was, wasn't going to make it back for practice. He went out to L.A. and he danced on the Soul Train dance line on TV and then came back and made it back in time for practice. He also – A Sox wonderful Sox Jeff Perlman book out there. White, White Sox Dave also said this with two NFL players on the show that he was on. Oh, no. On Dog Walk with Cole Komet and Taylor Luan. And they both were like, Wait, Wasn't what? this a while ago? Yeah, it was like – I just, don't know why it resurfaced yesterday. It popped up yesterday. Uh, it was like two months ago. Mm. And, uh, we all missed it two months ago. And Dave did try to use that. He at first he was like, "I said this two months ago." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's true. That was the old me. Yeah, <laughs> I've I've grown a lot since then. But uh, he's just he's a beautiful brain. And then the other one I had was that that Rico Bosco clip where he is, I. <laughs> yeah, the team, the team they were playing. That was the shortest basketball team I've <laughs> ever seen. Were, my sure. life. I gasped. Oh, that they, one. When they span, when they like they were all wide tight. angle, yeah. and like one of them walked by Billy, and Billy looked like he was Zach Eady. I was just like, <laughs> what is going on here? <laughs> that, we can talk about that. Did you see the other clip? What? Of him going off the handle yesterday on Pick Central like that? Oh, yeah, and, that was and, great. And being wrong about it? Look at this team. Yeah. Look at this team. Oh, no. Look at this team. <laughs> Rico is not – I don't think he's six feet. This team is the shortest team that has ever been yeah, I've never seen him. <laughs> Look at him. That's like the <laughs> – I gasped. That's like the Columbia University <laughs> mathematics alignment. Yes. Like you have to have a presence of mind to be like, I'm not going to put any highlights out of this because everyone's going to be like – their center is 5'11". Did he hit him with the too little? So no, he did he the, flexed, I think but the then arm he, went, flex. he put his hand did both? Also, this, I'm pretty sure, was a double <laughs> dribble. 
Was it not Titus? Did you see this? Wait, is that are the smokes in the game? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think the smokes got some run. All right, he ripped him. All right. Yep. It's a great <laughs> steal. Right. Yep. But I want to say this was a controlled dribble here. Dribble. Right. Oh, up. yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yep. That's. Yeah. Yep. But just very funny. That team was. <laughs> Billy had to feel like I saw the box score. Billy had like seventeen rebounds. Yeah, <laughs> Dana had nineteen and nine. I think. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta just play that team every. Game. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was just so funny when they put that clip out, and I just saw. I was like, "What? What is going on here?" Yeah, I filled it up. <laughs> he had eleven rebounds. He had thirty-four rebounds on forty-seven points. I think me and Max are joining a softball team. I want to. I want to play. Some yeah, softball. that's a great idea. Yeah. We should. I would like to get like get some exhibitions in Tuesday nights. Uh, we can join a summer one. Apparently, spring is mostly booked up. I want. Yeah, let's get one. a let's get a sixteen inch team. Shout out Northern is that Suburbs. The big ball? Yeah. Okay. okay. No gloves. No gloves. No, no gloves? gloves. Yeah. What about it. What does that mean? You don't the big wear ball. gloves. Yeah. No, we're doing real. Stuff. No, it's so much more fun. It's fun. Yes, because you can't. It's uh, especially as you get older. It's a sport that is not as much like you don't want to play softball when you're in your 30s and have a fucking rocket 12 yeah, yeah. hard ball yeah. hit at you at third base. This oh, ball doesn't get in field. Yeah, yeah, this ball doesn't get you can't hit it as hard, but it's also a skill game because you don't have gloves. Have it's it's it, like yeah. it's this big and it's a li- it it gets softer as the game goes. Can you along. peg people on the base uh, path? No. no, you still have to play. Okay, yeah. I played third base in a Jewish synagogue league back in Philly, and I would still get smoked. Yeah, I remember the time they that my swing. my buddy took yeah, a not when I was in my disabled. late late twenties. We were playing twelve inch, and my buddy there a, a ball hit a rock, and he was playing shortstop and hit him in the throat. I thought he was gonna like die because he couldn't. He was like. Ah. Oh, God. Uh, like, we're playing yeah. 16 inch now. Yeah. All right, and I'm with it's you. It's not now. worth it. Yeah. The park down the street from my house does a beer league kickball adult league, and so everyone in the outfield has to have a beer in one hand that's pretty that's full, right. and so you can only catch with your other hand. I'm, like, over at the playground with my toddlers looking over there with major FOMO. I have uh, a, that's not fun. competitive. I, I have a take that I people probably just – I think kickball sucks. Yeah. Yeah. Kickball sucks. I hate Who kickball loves, sucks. loves kickball? I hate kickball. Kickball sucks. I, I think hate it sucks. They have a keg? I, I think know. it sucks. I haven't played adult kickball. You it's go terrible. play and it it's just awful. sucks. The weirdest people, the worst. too. Yeah, people you just try to bunt. kick it far and, like, it just sucks. Oh. I got into it with cold, uh, slow pitch softball bros last year, and I, I'm not in a hurry to do that again. Oh, oh yeah, crazy. that guy yeah. called yeah. you out. Yeah, the serious. I'm talking about the serious guys that wear the long pants and the spikes. Oh yeah, yeah. They, they put travel. their entire identity into playing slow pitch softball. Those guys suck. Well, are you talking about like the Dominican guys? No, oh, remember the guy who tried <laughs> to beef with cool. him? No, they're like lawyers. Vaguely. Remember, we could pull up the clip. The guy hit a. I don't think that ball landed yet, and he was like, "Brandon, come and try to." No, but and he hit it off a oh, fucking yeah. tee. Which my point oh, was, yeah. what you're doing isn't really all that skillful. You're just hitting a very slowly pitched ball to you, and you're hitting it very hard. That's not really that skillful. You can enjoy it, but and then they they freaked out. Whatever. Well, it depends. He wants me to play, fly out to California. If you and play in a no arc league, it actually is skillful. When guys can throw it as high as they want. That yeah. actually does take skill. What do you mean? Like you, a lot of leagues, it's like you have to throw it between like six yeah. and twelve. I've played in leagues where there is no arc limit, so yeah. guys will throw the ball like twenty five feet in the air and it will drop perfectly for a strike. But you have end, to like time it. At the end of the day, a guy who's barrel chested, who's six two, two seventy five, who just goes up there emotionless and hits a ball that's <laughs> lightly tossed to him three hundred feet, and then just he didn't do anything. Yeah, it's all just muscle at that point. Yeah, it's just whatever. Oh, TJ just texted us. Well, Ch- the chat's going. Chat's chat's liking your look today, Kate. She uh, she tried today. I brushed my hair. <laughs> I did. I didn't get a haircut uh, or anything. I just... Shoddy look fun. Yeah. Exactly. It's a good look. It is a good look. It might be the Thanks. fastest our chat has moved in months. Over <laughs> <Kate>. <laughs> the entire chat has been spamming to compliment Kate for her looks. Hey. There we go, Kate. Kate. That is a good look. So it got a yeah. groove oh, back. Hi. There we go. Okay. Yeah. No, you don't. Now, don't. No, they, it, you, you usually, yeah. if you get a compliment, you'll say something disgusting to ruin the yeah. compliment. Don't yeah. do that. Now, yeah. my pussy stinks. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. There we go. There it is. Like leftover. Very bad. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, shout out, Kate. Looking good. Yeah. It's oh, I'm going to... Uh, 
I'm going to the funk the funk place. Are you? Yeah, at two thirty. I have a haircut <laughs> appointment at, at Funk's uh hair shop. Fuck yeah. Yeah, so I don't know what he's gonna do to me, but Well uh, he's gonna funk you up. Yeah, I'm gonna get yeah. funked up. Where is it? Is it uptown? I don't know. It's eleven minutes away. I think it's, it's downtown. It's downtown, yeah. Downtown funk you up. Would you trust his vision if he had a drastically different Probably not. Online? I'm just gonna say take what I do and just make it short. Are you gonna get a clean what if shave? He, he's gonna do my beard and everything. Yeah. What if he doesn't even ask what you want? What if you just sit down and, and I think I'll respect work? that. You're just gonna let him do yeah, it? Yeah, I'll let him do whatever he wants to do. <laughs> what if at the end he gives you just the lightest kiss on your lips? <laughs> <laughs> How good He's like if he's just like, Okay, How good one last thing it? and then just goes <laughs> and then goes, Now you've been funked up. <laughs> 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 I think I'd be fine. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> just, if it's a good haircut. Listen, I'm not saying that's what he does, but it would but, be But, I mean, funny. he doesn't, like, force himself oh. upon me. It's just a, light, a little quick. Yeah. A he seals every haircut with a kiss. <laughs> I feel like that's so <laughs> Richard alpha. Richard Dawson of <laughs> barbers. <laughs> just kissing everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, one last thing. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget You've been kiss. funked. Oh, I'm pumped to do that again. What? The kiss hug. the guy? Oh. The hug, uh, yeah. I forgot I oh, the hug. I think we will have a hug opportunity today yes today alex caruso is coming in to do pmt and i told him to come in a little early to do the gauntlet oh. okay perfect Fuck yeah chicago bulls oh yeah legend alex caruso so we'll have to spin the wheel to see who has to he's a lot taller in person yo bro you forgot your hug one last thing <laughs> caruso is he a cold ass white boy oh, oh yeah oh yes. one of the preeminent definition yes yeah. yep Sure is. He's arguably the best on-ball defender in the NBA. Shit. I'm gonna have to. I was doing some research for the interview. And I can't wait for it because there was a story that I'm gonna have to ask him about on PMT about he like I guess like a TikToker, like a Hooper tried to like challenge him and he yeah. just basically ended his basketball. Oh, career. amazing! Yeah. I've seen those guys. They're obnoxious. Tristan yeah. Jass. There's levels. The, yeah, Even serious like uh, people that do basketball TikTok or whatever underestimate how fucking crazy good NBA players. Why do they, Why does basketball get that treatment? I don't so know. Bad. You remember Brian so Scalabrini used so to do accessible that? Like yeah. that? It was you awesome. Don't, you don't do that to football players. You're not like, dude, I could fucking. Yeah. Miles Garrett, I could block that guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fucking block that guy. He's yeah. Not, yeah. So hey, I could I yeah. could hit you. I could strike out. You know. Basketball yeah, but really do that. But basketball, there is like a sense that like I could take fucking you. bomb, dude. I could take this. I'm a, I'm a bucket. Yeah. Can you look it up, TJ? Brian Scalabrini used to do this thing where he would just be like anyone challenge. Play. Yeah, yeah. That's what he called it. And yeah. and just random dudes would come and he just beat him like 21 nothing. Yep. People are still coming to these like grand epiphanies that oh, Brian Scalabrini is a lot better than we think. Yeah, he was like, on like an NBA team comment. for a very long yeah. time. And to get to that point means you have to be like point oh 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 one percent. Yeah, yeah. I think the biggest flex is dudes that are like, I'm a career NBA guy. Like, right. Like I haven't. Like yeah. I'm in the league. I always now. have a like job. You can shit on me, but I literally am better yeah. than everyone. Yeah. At basketball. Yeah. Like the, remember the and one movement or whatever? They like they still couldn't. NBA, Some of them. Or like well, there was they? one. There was one guy Ray in there Alston. playing the NBA. Ray, yeah, for, Ray Alston. for Alston. But most of them could not. Yeah. No. Like hot sauce could not. But I feel like that's the feeling. Like, well, they found these people on the street, and they were good enough to be in that. And maybe yeah. I don't know. It's not even close. No, not close. Yeah. Professor's still making videos. But I think that's also just sports fan. Like, it's fun to be like, if someone fucks up, like Chris Paul's a bum. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, like he stinks at basketball. Yeah. <laughs> just to have that take. And Chris Paul is so they good actually basketball, believe you can't it. even fathom it. No, can't yeah. cannot even fathom it. They think like someone like Kyle Kuzma is just terrible. Yeah, right. Yeah, like even Jordan Poole, who is not great, yeah, yeah, is so so, so good. good. So yeah, good. he's a top seventy-five basketball player in the world. Yeah, right. Uh, top two hundred player in the world. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Probably. Well, Europe, Europe's got some dudes now. Top four hundred. Eh. Top four oh six. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Okay. We don't know what's going on in some of these countries. Yeah. We've got some kids going. Will America be overtaken in that sport, or is it like one good player spawns from like X country every year? It will, we'll, we like will, will not one be country overtaken. form No, we lines. will. You think? I, this is the, I hate this attitude, yeah. 
No, by we, who? We I hate won't. this attitude. We won't. See, this is the problem. No, we by who? Why we're gonna, this Who's going to overtake yeah. us? Fucking everybody, dude. Look at the NBA. This is my. This is this is the problem. I'm sounding the alarm. Is that Americans are like, nah. we're fine. We're fine. We'll Luka, be we'll be Giannis. I know we haven't dude, won an France, MVP in a while. France is pumping out fucking Frankenstein's left and right. True. They're coming over here. Go bear and women Yeah, but are we got more France. people. But you, you can't forget put, about how many but, people. But we're not. We we're not using all the people. You only put five on the court at a time. Yeah, but we have. If we did, uh, like us versus France, what would that be? Like yeah. three hundred and eighty million versus like a hundred yeah. million. Yeah, I'm sorry, Titus. Is Caitlin Clark American or is she French? Oh. <sighs> No, we put Caitlin Clark on the Olympic men's team. We're in business. I think at that point, at that point, we're cooking. We you should. You think Wimbenyama that. could guard her? No, no, no there's sure no way. There's no way. She'd break him down. There's no fucking way. <laughs> uh, Mook, could you do the high noon ad read? Yeah. High noon. The High Noon El Prez Pack is here, featuring the top four High Noon Vodka Seltzer flavors as ranked by El Prez himself. These flavors include passion fruit, pineapple, pear, and an all-new flavor, tangerine. Yum. All made with real vodka and real juice. The 12-pack is only here for a limited time, so get it while you can. Just look for the pack with Dave's face on it. You can even scan the QR code on the pack and have El Prez virtually join your party. Visit HighNoonSpirits.com to find the El Prez Pack near you. Miss Peaches is coming to the Chicago office next week. Ah, I'm nervous. Oh, shit. That, I know, meeting a real celebrity. Did you see the Deadbeat yeah. Dad? Original Dad came out. Uh, Miss dog? Peaches Dad? Oh, what? The original where Miss Peaches was born, the no. guy who sold Miss Peaches to the dickheads who abused her has come out of the woodworks and is posting. It's just like when a Deadbeat Dad's kid gets famous. Oh, my God. No yeah. Way. Uh. Yes. Uh huh. A crazy thing happened last night. My original owner who, told, who sold me to the hoarders who abused me started posting pictures of me as a puppy. He claimed he didn't know the people he sold me to were evil. My papa said it's like, this is so weird that Dave's writing this. Uh, my papa <laughs> said it's like when a Debbie dad's kid becomes famous and they suddenly crawl out from under a rock. My papa put his entire security team on these jerks and told me there's nothing to worry about and I'm s safe now forever. But I did think people would want to see a puppy pic of me as well as a pic of my parents that my deadbeat dad sent me sent to prove he once owned me. Also, guess what? I'm four years old. Oh, that's sick. good news. Oh, that's awesome. My papa was very happy about that. He I said that gave him more years with me. Ms. Peaches. I don't like the my papa stuff, but that <laughs> the rest of it is cool. Yeah. Ms. Peaches' parents are not really lookers. Oh, I thought they were. Let me see again. Those are some badass looking dogs. They made a cute dog. Yeah, that's. Uh, I guess yeah, that is a, a badass looking dog. <laughs> wow, that's wild. That he, Miss Peaches got so famous that the parents were like, that "Hey, is. that's ours." Do you know what which day they? she's gonna be here? Uh, I think Tuesday, you, Thursday. What do you Friday? have to do? Just gonna wear jeans in, just in case. <sighs> just gotta dress well. Miss mm. Peaches, hide your remote controls and your. I should bring phones? in some old yeah, and glasses. Your glasses. Yeah. Mm hmm. And oh, that would be funny if we did a Jerry After Dark. It was just how many remote controls can this just, <laughs> <laughs> just filled the whole court with them. <laughs> Miss Peaches versus remote control. Yeah, Miss Peaches is cute. She's cute as cute. fuck. That's awesome that she's only four. That is good news. That's huge. Why doesn't uh, Stella have an account? I don't judge, but I never was into the whole... Uh, Talking like your dog online. Yeah. My papa. Yeah. <laughs> my parents. Yeah, my daddy. Yeah. A lot do, of you, do you see your dog as your child? Because I, I, I think of my dog as just like my bro. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And whenever anybody's like, you go to a dog park and they're like, is your daddy taking care of it? And I'm like, yeah. this yeah, is, is like weird, dude. Like, this is not, I'm not my dog's dad. Stella's I'm, daddy. Like yeah. That. I'm his bud. We're like. Yeah. We're bros. Yeah. This is my fucking boy. Well, especially when you have real human children. Yeah. Then it definitely puts it into perspective. But I think uh, that that's up to the how the dog acts, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, it might be. Yeah. No, it's 100%. The, <laughs> the, the, oh. I don't know. I, I was serious. If the dog wants a daddy or not, or like a brother. Yeah. It was funny yeah. when I was back in like dog park days when it was just, you would never learn anyone's name. You just learn their dog's name. Yeah. And then you'd have to be like, oh, that's, that's yeah, Kevin's Trixie's mom. Dad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I don't know your name. 
Yeah, I used to go to a dog park. They would like, all the people were like best friends. They would on Fridays they'd like drink at the dog park. Yeah. It was a very big social thing. Kind of like that. Yeah. Community. I wouldn't do it. No, I wouldn't. I never yeah. did. Yeah. But I liked that it was happening. Definitely. You liked that somebody else did it. Yeah. It was kind of sweet. Take a load off on a Friday. Um, all right. Do we have to do this? Uh, yeah, let me let me show you guys something. Oh, quick. oh, Steven. Where's Hank? Is he supposed to? No, but he could help explain what we got going on. Okay. We got something big coming. Whoa. Were you supposed to say something before this, Steven? <laughs> no, no, nope, just intro on it. This feels important. This is the whole plan. You cannot go in guns a blazing. Security's gonna be airtight. Deeply confused. I saw this man take down an entire squad. I did do that. He killed over 100 men. Slight exaggeration. With his bands. Definitely not true. <laughs> Whoa. Wait. You forget who controls the narrative. Not exactly how I plan to go. Deal with him accordingly. And lights. Shit. Rejoice! Fish hook. Read my lips. You petulant little shit. <laughs> this looks Repeat awesome. the mantra. I am an instrument shaped for a... Damn it. So that is the trailer for Boy Kills World starring Bill Skarsgård, who actually resembles John Rich. Uh, a boy is deaf and mute with a uh, vibrant imagination who is trained by a mysterious uh, shaman to become an instrument of death after his family is murdered. Uh, the boy's inner voice is voiced by the legendary voice actor H. John Benjamin, who's from Archer, Bob's Burgers. Um, it's also produced by Sam Raimi from The Evil Dead and Roy Lee from Barbarian. Uh, it's a must-see. It's in theaters April 26th. Um, obviously, it's you know a ton of violence, which you just saw. Very inventive kills. Gamers like TJ and Nick uh, are going to love this film. Some reviewers have called it a gleeful orgy of violence and an ultra-violent blast. A high-octane extravaganza sure to satiate genre fans and a delirious bloodlust. It um, looks awesome. Whoa. Wow, yes. yeah, it saw. looks awesome. Whoa. I know Why are we exactly watching this what I'm trailer? Gonna we have to. Hank in to explain. We have a big announcement. Hank. Hey. Hey. Go okay. ahead, Hank. Hey, hey. Yeah, whenever hey, you're ready. This is it when we say Hank. <laughs> oh, sorry. I didn't know. I didn't know I was doing the announcement. Uh, this is something. This was this was an idea PFT had that we tried to do in the summer when we moved here. Didn't get sold. And then we kind of re reconvened after the combine. So we want to do it again. We got it. Uh, we got it sold. So we're doing a film festival, forty-eight yeah. hour film yeah. festival. Yeah. We're splitting the entire office up: content people, production people. There will be four teams, so it's not going to be like a team Yak, team PMT. Everyone will be split out between different teams. They're going to have forty-eight hours to write and shoot a seven to twelve minute short film, uh, and there will be a draft on on the Yak where. Nick has come up with a bunch of categories in terms of like everyone will get assigned a different genre, a different uh, a time period when the movie takes place, different setting like a location, uh, and then you'll have to work you know with your team, write it. You'll have to find someone to direct it. You guys will probably be actors, uh, and then we'll do a premiere the following Friday after the act. So the the day the movie premieres, the twenty sixth at like three o'clock, we'll do a big red carpet event. We'll get a projector screen in here. And we'll live stream the airing of the four short films. Oh. Amazing. Whoa. Fuck yeah. Is there a winner? 
Yeah, so we're gonna have we're gonna have judges. We're gonna have prizes: best director, best acting, best editing. You know, oh, any, any 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 any. Uh, I think Kirk and Jeff D. Lowe are gonna come help as two of the judges for that. So they're gonna be unbiased. Um, and me? Big Cat, will, but you'll be more involved in some of the. You'll be like the the voice from someone that's seen the behind the scenes of the production. Kirk, Jeff, and Kirk are just coming in blind, watching the short films and breaking them down just as they appear to the public. I said I tried to explain to Hank that I'm gonna be like the Tom Colicchio, and he didn't know who that was, and that that hurt me. Oh, I don't, I don't know, I don't that know either. Yeah, what? Never... Sorry, Top Chef. Yeah. yeah. Top Chef. Uh, yeah, like the the one of the one of the judges on Top Chef will like come in and be like, "What are you guys working on?" Oh yeah, yeah. and like you know, like oh maybe do Explain this. Explain to me what you're doing. Yeah. With this ingredient. How many people per team? It's this whole office. We also invited uh, Joey, Pat, Frank the Tank, the out of order guys will be involved in in the production side of things. Fights is out of the country and Francis can't make it. I don't know. Sass never answered one way or the other. I hope. I hope. <laughs> I, I he, he was invited, but uh, like Owen, Owen and Pavs and stuff will be here. So I think it'll probably be like ten to twelve people a team, maybe fifteen. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, so awesome. you'll have you'll have help. Oh, you know, who gets Nick? I don't know. We don't Nick's know. team. Nick's team. Nick, Nick. Yeah. yeah. So who does Nick? Who is Nick going to yeah. take on his team? Yeah. Who are the captains? Uh, I think we split up. Nick, KB, Mook, and Rudy, and that's kind of where we started. PFT a captain? PFT is also working with the team. Got it. Team. Got it. And I'm like, excited. And we get, like, our own editor. Do we have yeah. the team? Yeah, you get yeah, the you whole, get, you like, get, production. Yeah, so oh. it's like the, they're yeah. there, which I like, obviously, like, having a production background. There, it, There is an element of, like, you different production people can do different things. So you might have Fasoli as your director. Other teams might have, you know, Tom Lay or whatever. So it's like there will be that element of you have to make it work with the production people that you do have. Mm -hmm. Quiggs, Love Trey, yeah. this is gonna be That'll cool. be very fun. Very cool. And based on the draft, you can get like a 1920s rom-com with like a an extra twist, right? Yeah. That's what we're mm -hmm. drafting. Mm -hmm. Okay. So in two weeks, is it two weeks? Yeah. Two, two weeks, weeks we're going to do the draft. And then the following Friday will be the premiere. Yes. And we're also, which I probably will end up being maybe the funniest part is we're going to have each team will be assigned like a behind the scenes camera person who's not really involved in production. That's just filming the conflict between the production. And then after the premiere of the four movies, we'll have the behind the scenes documentary of the four short films being made. This is going to rock. And as soon as the draft is complete and here's our genre, here's our team. Like that's when the 48 hours starts yep. like right then and there. Yep. I'm very excited for this. It's a great idea. Boy Kills World. That might be the line of dialogue. I think everyone's going to have one line of dialogue that they have to work into their script somewhere. <laughs> and it might be Boy and Kills And there might World. be a couple twists, too. There will definitely be some I'll twists. I'll throw in not too crazy. But I, it's going to be great. Hank and, Hank and PFD and Nick have thought of everything. And Corey. Shout out Corey. And Corey. Shout out Corey. Oh, I can't wait to see the movies that they that everybody comes. Well, you're gonna be. You're gonna be. I'm gonna be part of it. But I'm just. I'm just. I think it's gonna be awesome. Yeah, we're gonna have like a full yeah. film festival. You think I? I do. I hope. I hope like a content person tries to step up as director. Like Brandon was like, I'm gonna. I'm gonna step up and. and oh, you can direct. go on your Spielberg yeah. shit. Yeah. Yeah. Probably cool will. Outfit. Yeah. Where do you think your strength would be in that? If you know it's either writing, directing. I'll probably editing, be the finest acting. actor in this in this in this company. Yeah, you act like a Are you a good actor? Head. Oh! oh. Yeah. oh. Damn. <laughs> Is Stephen Che going to be on one of the teams? <laughs> Stephen Che will be on one of the teams. I'd like to see him. TJ, everyone, every, anyone that works here yeah. is going to be involved. Is involved. I fucking love Hell it. Hell yeah. Silly question. But like, is there is each team given like a budget or like it's like nope, yeah. you figure yeah, it out like shoestring on your own or something? No, it's 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 because yeah. we're encouraging people to shoot outside the office and stuff. We don't want everything to just be like yeah, that. yeah, yeah. So you will have somewhat of a budget. I think one of the you might have to you know cast someone that doesn't work here like as an extra or like oh we can a, bring a in cameo. outside people oh, yeah. if we need. Yeah. Oh okay. Hmm. Lots of twists and turns. If everyone has any yeah. ideas, you I'm know, excited. We, we're, we're yeah, still, we're it. still open a little. You know bit, what that is. It's gonna be good. Brain's thinking. It's gonna be really good. It's either the, some of the short films should be really good, and some of them should just be maybe a complete disaster. <laughs> I, oh, there'll be one of those things where it's either way. I think there's gonna be, be real funny. dramas that come out of this. Like, I think some teams are gonna turn on each other. Yeah, that that's. I think that will probably be the funniest. Is Bosco in it? Bosco's not in it. <sighs> uh, what about the boys? Are the boys flying in? Uh, no. I think Will's in or Taylor's in, in Mexico. Yeah. 
Hmm. No, they they said they could come, and then mm-hmm. Taylor backed out. <laughs> I'm excited. Hell yeah! Thank, thank you, you, Hank. Yeah, well, thank what you are guys. you? What else are you excited about? Getting a boat? Uh, I'm not getting a boat. I'm excited about mini golf. Oh. Mini golf. Well, that's like the week. whole word around play. the office is like Hank's gonna have a boat this summer. Yeah. Oh. I will have access. I'm getting my boating license. Uh, I will not be purchasing a boat and taking care of a boat. You're just right. gonna rent it every yeah. time? Well, there's there's like boating memberships you can join where you can rent it like once a week, twice. How a week. many times do you think Nikki Smokes will be on that boat? We'll see. He's <laughs> as of right now zero. We'll see. We'll oh, see he shaved his face. Work he his looks way off. Terrible. Wait, oh, he did. He looks crazy. Oh, very dude. different. Kind of very shaven. Can we bring he, him in? Oh, yeah, bring get, him in. yeah. We should bring him in here. He, well, I'm not gonna knock anyone for how they look. Yeah, but either. Well, I I said it as. From a place of I've done the same thing where I've shaved my face and everyone's been like, Ugh. but he shaved his face and I overheard a conversation on the sales side of people being like, it's oh, really you look great. Person. And I had to come out and be like, don't say that because he doesn't <laughs> like this is bad. Like, you can't give him confidence now. He doesn't look good. He needs to just yeah. battle through this. Why We've did all do been it? there. I, I don't used know. to be, I don't think he realized it, which this happened to me. I used to be a clean shaven guy for the most part. And then I started having a beard and I, I think I like messed up trimming my beard. I was like, oh, I'll just shave it. It'll grow back. And I came in and the office, <laughs> yeah. the office stopped. It was the, the New York two where you get off the elevator and everyone just stopped talking. Yeah. It was horrifying. Uh, it's happened to me a bunch of like, well, at least once a year again, and I'll I never shave. Will. Yeah. I'll shave too closely and everyone will be like, whoa, dude, don't do <laughs> that. Like you have a lot of chins that you're. Oh, it is. <laughs> yeah, start- oh, startling a little. In a nice Thank way. you, Hank. Great announcement. Startling a little in, in a, a nice, nice way. way. Um, it's, it's, hey. Yeah. So there he is, clean shaven. I uh, no, I think. Oh, you know, he's, no. I think it's um, he's handsome. handsome. It's, I was no. expecting worse. He's got dimples. He does. That helps a lot. That, that does looks help. like this, right? Yeah. A woman, like Lady Elaine, yeah, Mr. Rogers, Lady <laughs> Elaine, yeah. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Prince Two. I'm looking at it right now. You're kind of. <laughs> That's Nicole Smokes. Yeah, you kind of. Come on, let's, let's not let's not get egregious now. <laughs> I think it looks good. If I lost like another ten pounds, maybe I'd look like. Uh, look up Lady Elaine. I'd look like Tom Brady or something. I don't know about that. No, it just what? looks different. It was Lady Elaine's thing. She like what's two plus two? Yeah, she was Lady just a, She was just. <laughs> she was in the magical fairyland. Yeah, Prince Tuesday was there too. Brandon said he liked it. I do like it. I think it's better. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh yeah. There he is. <laughs> Who called me that? I think that was Kyle. That was you. I didn't say that. That was Brandon. Come on, KB. That was Brandon. I just on, knew Kyle. who she was. That's crazy. Man. <laughs> Do you think you'll sh- keep shaving, close shave? I mean, it's, it's nah. ballsy. Yeah, like I've done. I've told you. I, I'm speaking from someone who's done it, and it's never gone well. I just don't like when it grows back. It gets all itchy, and mm-hmm. it just hurts my you face. Gotta, a lot. You're good with like a close shave. Like yeah, a, like a low shave. Yeah, yeah. You I don't, don't like when it gets scar. Where here? Yeah. No. Yeah. Right here. Here? Yeah. There's no scar there. Well, well, what is it? Oh no, herpes? No, I don't have herpes. I get tested. Yeah, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> Is there a line? What's on my face? I don't think that's a scar. Like a little a, smile line. It's like a medium-sized boil. Brandon, you're shaking. I don't see it. Yeah, he it went look, away. It looks like a. It was right there. Right. There it is. What? He looks like face. It's when I smile. That's what he looks like face. Look over here. When they do the uh. chick <laughs> filter. There's nothing there. You got some thick ass eyebrows. I know. That's that's. I have to get them done, dude. That's me. That's what I'm saying. Like you can't. People say when I look you like a it. younger you. Yeah, when you do it, it's our eyebrows pop, and we're just like, fuck. No, I didn't notice them. Like got a couple eyebrows. caterpillars up there. No, yeah. that's a good thing. You like nah. thick eyebrows? So, nah. My I one friend married too. a guy. The first thing she noticed about him across the bar down the Jersey Shore was his eyebrows. I don't. Big had the opposite happen. Yeah, the, I told that I story. I don't think I've ever had a girl, like when my eyebrows are bushy, be like, damn, I like those eyebrows. No, no. We're, it doesn't it's happen. bad, yeah. Like if the barber lines them up, yeah. It looks good. Yeah. But if they're just growing out, they look like shit. I didn't even know the barber could do that till I was like 24. And Life changing. finally was though. like, hey, could you clean these up? And they're like, sure, no problem. Life changing. Yeah. You, you, don't go, you go up at instant two points. Yeah. Now, have you alerted any ladies on your roster? No, I'm petrified. Like, I don't know if I should put petrified. this selfie up on my story or not. Because if I if I do that just and I get likes. Just get the right. Get the angles right. I have to go high. I have to go have high. Because I, I went on mostly like sports this bones. morning. You and this asshole TJ back there is just zooming in <laughs> on this egregious double chin I had. 
And I was like, this is not going to play well. Yeah. yeah. So it's all about the angle. You got to really know what's underneath when you shave your beard. Yeah. Well, that was my thing. I was trying to size up how bad the double chin was before I shaved it, mm. but you can never tell. Yeah. And my dad always told me that, like, the beard kind of pulls the skin down, too. I don't know if that's a myth or not. No. That doesn't seem true <laughs> that at all. Seem no. True at all. All right. Well, that makes sense. Smokes, what happened yesterday? Um, Nothing. Nothing too crazy. Just uh, do you think you're standing as the prankster of the company? Oh, man. Uh, oh, this is tough. Oh, uh, yeah, I didn't do any falling pranks. off. You didn't even realize. After, I heard you. Oh, I overheard yeah, you say, April like, Fools. oh, shit, it's April Fool's. I didn't even, I didn't know it was April Fool's Day. <laughs> and then I woke up, because usually the only April Fool's prank I pull is calling my mom and telling her I knocked some girl up. And it, it works every year. And she <laughs> freaks out every single time. But last time I, I don't, I'm just, I ran out of prank ideas, to be real. And Big Cat kind of told me to, like, chill with the pranks. Well, I, yeah, they it were, was just like rapid fire. Like I was pranks. just, I it was, was the OD. one specifically where you were like, let's have a woman come in and throw a drink on Nick's face. Well, I thought that would have been fucking hilarious. <laughs> yeah, but it would have been a disaster, right. for Nick. Yeah, not if I explained it. I still think that that's there's question. But it would have been good, and I just came to the realization. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good. Oh, yeah. It's just that's I, true. I just good feel like defense. everything I came up with was crossing the line. Yeah. Yes. And like I don't have a simplistic enough of a brain. To like do a cute, funny prank. Like I'm either gonna. I don't think simplistic's the word. So you're, I, I think it's your problem. Smart. I think your simplistic <laughs> brain only crosses lines. Your yeah. problem Correct. is you're yeah. too smart. Yeah, is what you're trying to say. In my own sick. You're too elaborate mind. with your pranks. Yeah. Like pieing someone in the face. <laughs> too elaborate. Of a, <laughs> yeah, that's, what, you, that's just too much of a. <laughs> did you call your mom? Oh, elaborate shit. prank. No, because you didn't call your mom. No, there's stuff going on <laughs> for why I didn't want to call her. Wow, what a dick, Brandon. But yeah, no, no worries. Jesus, yeah. no, sorry I, about that. No, it's all right. No, I appreciate. Did it. Did you no, actually get somebody pregnant? No, okay. I might have. They might be out there somewhere. I just don't know about. I think it. you'd make a good dad. I think I would too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I was actually thinking if I wanted to change my ways, I should just knock someone up. No, because then all the bad shit I do would just end. No, it yeah. wouldn't. Like I would just start living for that kid instead of yeah. my, my yeah, own. Flesh. You wouldn't fuck around anymore yeah, at all. Kids do solve all the problems. <laughs> it is how it yeah. works. Yep. That's it's, uh, Save marriages all the time. No, no way. Never yeah. been better. Let's have a kid. We'll love yeah. each other more. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see one day. Uh, all right. Well, Smokes. Appreciate you. Keep guys. powering yeah. through. Thank you. I feel like you're you're doing better than you were this morning. Yeah, I'm doing great. Yeah. I got a couple compliments from the people that mattered most. Who's Who that? Who's that? Paige. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Did you already talk about and agree with his take that you go to White Sox games for sports and you go to Cubs to chase tail? Uh, I Who's don't know if Chase Tail. Uh, I mean, he's, yeah. he's yeah. on the right path. That like, I mean, Wrigley is like a very fun experience. More social, but and there's still all, and also Wrigley like people like bachelor parties or people who are coming out of town like they're like it's an event, yeah. to Wrigley. It's yeah. a destination, yeah, right. For sure, right. But, yeah. White Sox games do have far better food. Far from really, it. yeah. For the longest, that is my one problem. For the longest. I the was not great. when we went to that Cubs game last year, and I was pregnancy craving. I wanted the ice cream and the hat. Yeah. And the Cubs stadium has fucking oat. Yeah. yeah. There's yeah. no. Yeah. The yeah. whole stadium has no normal ice no, cream. Not good. It's, it's the oat ice cream, and it sucks. Yeah. And oat I was ice so no, 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 the, the oat milk. Yuck. It's Gross. terrible. And they're like, it doesn't taste different. It no, it tastes, tastes yeah. very different. Why are they very fucking around with ice cream? It's I, so simple. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I still feel upset bullshit. when I think about it. Yeah. No, the White yeah. Sox Stadium has awesome, awesome food and like better beer. They, yeah, they do all that better. Mm. It's a fact. Mm. Should we spin the wheel now that we have uh, more Nick wet song and here? Hank on here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What did it come up with yesterday? Dry. Nothing. Uh, dry. Nothing. Oh, look at that. Yep. People were mad that we left without spinning it. We're ducking it. No, no, no. I'd never duck the wheel. Oh man, imagine if we got fart eliminator. <laughs> oh, look at that. Uh, Chilling. Where are we at with the uh, balloon and the leaf blower? We oh, got we got a new leaf blower, but it's even worse than the other one. Oh. Uh, Paige showed me a leaf blower this morning. She's like, You think this would work? And I just laughed. <laughs> oh. We could try, but it's like a tiny one. Mm -hmm. You need like an industrial. Yeah. Yeah. I think we also need to blow the balloon up really, really Can big. Can we get a bigger yeah. balloon? Can we we, we got to get Kyle in Can we balloon. get serious I, about getting Kyle in this yeah, fucking balloon? I mean, on. as a company. I don't think is, that balloon was big enough either. It's not something that I'm just, I, 
I want everyone to know I'm not being like, oh, we tried. No, no, we're going to get yeah. him in the balloon. I'm getting in there. Maybe tomorrow because the court won't, we won't be able to use the court for the rest of the week. They're going to start the mini golf. Oh, fuck. Mini Already? Golf. Oh. Yeah, they're going to start building it. Oh. Well, I mean, i got to get my, my workout my workout in. Yeah. My hour and a half workout. Brandon was working out this morning. I heard. What'd you so do this morning? I came in. Well, okay. So I got here at 6. Uh, you got sassy there. Yeah, yeah well. Yeah. What was well, that? okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, got here, I got here at 619 mm -hmm. uh, for 11 minutes. That's just too early, dude. Yeah. It's too I early. know you want to beat the traffic, but what the fuck? I just started this answer. You're, are you going to... You're going to get to a point where you just don't leave the office because you want to beat the traffic. Too early in the answer yeah. to be balked down. <laughs> so I, uh, at 619, I waited till 630 to have a nice round number. And then for 20 <laughs> minutes, I walked up and down the court. 20-minute walk. Do we have oh, security cam forth, of this? Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So that yeah, was 20 minutes. Can you hit minutes. someone up? At 650, I then took a, 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 a sip of water. And then I took 100 shots on the uh, three-point machine. And uh, I only made 42. It was a bad day. 42 out of 100. Oh, that's such a fucking So that brand. took from 657 to 712. Took about 15 minutes. Are you sure they were all three-pointers? Very positive. How was it a get bad day? You've done this twice, and this is the best you've ever done. Yeah, so well, it was 34 day? yesterday, but I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> then I moved to the weights. I did, uh, that's 90 pounds on, on the bar. I did three sets of 10. Uh, I also did curls, the 25-pound uh, dumbbells. I did those uh, 20 times each, uh, three times, and then I just picked up the the, the, the heavy one. And then uh, I finished it off with a five-minute cool-down walk. Oh. Hell yeah. Damn. That's, I want to start doing my little PT. There's the stuff mm. over there, but I don't want to get made fun of. I don't want to get yeah. roasted. And you were here, but you didn't come down to help me work out, Big Cat. I noticed your uh -huh. car was here, but you must have gone to your office for a second. Exposed. Wait, what? You didn't come straight to help me work out? I went time. upstairs to change into shorts, and then I came right Oh, down. you didn't just come in shorts? No. Because I did. I don't know why I said that. I didn't. Did you ever, came how many times shorts? did you fall? Uh, walking? None. For, oh. None. I had zero falls. <laughs> <laughs> zero falls. I did have a couple of uh, bad incidents with the, uh, with, with the, the gun, the shooting gun, because... Uh, yeah, the balls go. If out. you miss, if you miss egregiously, the balls will escape, mm -hmm. and then you start with four balls in the gun, and then you you miss four bad times. You have zero balls in the gun. You have to chase them down, and then you get frustrated and you kick them. Yeah. So what does that make you want to do? Kick them. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I what kick. If, what if you just didn't miss that badly? What if you Can't, got better? Not, apparently, what if you just got better, Brandon. Not an option. Okay. Not an option. It's very frustrating. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So out of a hundred, I. And I finished strong. I started poorly. 42 is good. Not really. You I expect it, to just be open shots. Yeah, that's really 42 good. 42 is horrendous. Yeah. Yeah. Open shots, I need to be about, for me, I need to be Were about 60. Were you moving? 60? No. Oh, it was the same shot? Top of no, the it was five spots. It was, it was corner, five, wing you five, top five. Yeah, I was moving. Oh. But still, that's. Moving, that's perfectly fine. I don't think so. 42% from three? Yeah, but in, by myself. In you, but you're team. never going to play Yeah, not by yourself. I, I would like to make over half the shots. Like, we've been waiting for you to come play pickup, and you are not I'm getting play. in shape. Uh, here's my promise to you. Don't point. Second Friday in June, I will start playing. Second Friday in June? Uh, What's I, actually, I'm out, of, I'm out of town that week. Mm. Third Friday in June, if I'm back, I will play. Whoa, Ryan. What we got? He's got a lot of poops. <laughs> What's that? A whole that? pallet of dude. <laughs> an enormous amount of dude vibes. Damn, Ryan. <laughs> that was a little bit obnoxious. Yeah, he should uh, probably yeah. be reprimanded for, <laughs> for Are you weighing yourself every job? day? Not yet. I'm going to go for a couple of weeks before I weigh myself. Oh, you got to you got to weigh yourself to start, I feel like I'm 275. You, I feel yes. like I'm 275. I see the time to do it. Yeah, and, nah, you, first. I'm, I'm with Brandon on this one. Dude. I'll find oh. out later. I'll find out you later. You weigh the first day, you then you have positive that. reinforcement. Right. Yeah. yeah. I figure I'll know I'll know when the pounds are coming off. Where's the scale? We have one. There's yeah. one out on the turf. Go step on it. Where is it? Take it the off the turf. The turf isn't that big. Put it on the The turf's pretty big. The turf's like the just See if you can find 40 yards long. There's 40 yards of turf. All right, I'll find the scale. Put it on the hardwood and let us know the number. That jacket does not fit him. No, no. Wait, what is that? Not even a little bit. Not even a little bit. I think that's what brought on the health oh, no. change. Is yep. He got this cool jacket. It didn't fit, and he's like, I got to get it. Yeah, well, it's not a cool jacket right now. 
Because it doesn't fit him. <laughs> what, is, what is he doing? He looks, looks like a. Uh, and he thought. He's doing the dainty yeah. walk again. He's Look at this. Yeah, wow, he is he's sassy. Very sassy and dainty. Just a sassy, sassy oh. man. <laughs> <laughs> Why was that guy hitting on him in the bar? I can't imagine. Yeah. Ah. Okay, he's looked in one part of the turf and he found it. Wow, that was really difficult. <laughs> oh, taking off. Shoot. Very yep. serious. Smart move. Take the pants off. No, keep them on, dude. You go you go full? For the first one? Yeah, yeah keep you want to be heavy as there. possible. Shoot. Take your phone Stop. Stay on, stay on it. Yes, yeah, stomp. Keep stomping. Look at these matchy boys today. Out of batteries. I never used the scalpel board. <laughs> these guys. Talk to him, TJ. Step onto it and then step off. How many guys can we get? <laughs> Kiwi's coming out to help. <laughs> Jay and Brandon look like a gay couple that adopted KB. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. User error. <laughs> just, just step on it was just, all that step required. On. Stay, I'll stay on it for a little. What is it? Two seventy-five. Exact. Two seventy-four point six. Oh, so you lost point four pounds. It's <laughs> good work. That is good work to be like, I feel this way and just, damn, dude, look at you. It fits. It, it does not that fit. That does not fit. That does not Brandon, fit. Brandon, you have to constantly pull it down. This fits. You're the least European guy in the world. This fits. Uh, no. No. Can you, touch, can you touch the ceiling? And then touch your toes. Just touch the ceiling real quick just for get me. Both. Just touch the ceiling real quick for us. Right just, you look like you're tall enough to be able to touch the ceiling without getting on your tiptoes. <laughs> oh, no. No, both hands. Oh, no. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> A lot of cholesterol in that Bret Hart. Sheesh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. All right, Caruso's going to be here in 10 minutes. Oh, yeah. Should we get the gauntlet up? Set it up? Yeah. Where the hell's Malasek? Quick life update. You asked me about it yesterday. Yes. Pat. I'm selling my house. Wait. Back to oh the people. My wait, God. wait, they agreed? They called me last, last night. They called last night. Holy what? Fuck. You are selling it back? Yeah, uh, but I for, know what he's got. And for did a crazy Did they up? agree to that number? 52% of Holy what I bought it for. Shit. No way. Oh, goodness. <laughs> are you serious? Bro. Like fifty two, like fifty two percent markup. I mean, yeah, like, yeah. Oh, I trust like, you. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah like so you're so, yeah. Titus and I were like talking one and a half times. Yeah, what I, I was hit. asking. Yeah. Him, oh he, he said the number that Holy he told them, and I was like, if they say yes, you have. He's like, oh, it would be a dream. They would not leave me alone. They kept bothering. <laughs> they reached out to like uh, the real estate agent that we used to to buy the house from them. They just started reaching out to everybody. It got to a point where they're like, we're gonna stop throwing out numbers. You tell us a number. And then we were just like, we're going to just say an insane fucking number that no one in their right mind would take. You're the greatest. And then they called last night and they were like, we'll take it. I was like, what the fuck? God. He's the greatest. I know the numbers. He's the greatest real estate uh, flipper Fli yeah, of all time. Flip. Art of the deal. One I made I made zero improvements to the house. I did absolutely nothing. We didn't list it. We didn't stage it. We didn't do anything. But this is incredible because now... Uh, Wow. You can also like I know the moving sucks again, but you can now hire someone to like oh, yeah. literally yeah. move. Oh, I'm, 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 I might retire. I might this might be <laughs> you know what you should have... do? You oh should do God. the the rich people move where like they go on vacation. Oh yeah, during the move. And, and then I come back and my house is set, set up. up. Oh yes. You should absolutely do Oh that. yeah. Yeah. That is uh, so, wait, yeah. how much time do you have? So you have to be out and like, are you we have frantically to, looking now? For sort of, yeah. They they want it back by June. Um, we haven't signed anything. Like they yeah. they just called last night and we're like, yeah, we'll draw up a contract. That sounds good to us. And we're like, what the oh fuck? My God. <laughs> That's I would have been like, yes, if so, you tell me why. Yeah, did they? Yeah, I have gotta to. Find uh, out. We have to like. Obviously, we're gonna we're gonna get lawyers and accountants and everything to like look uh -huh. over everything for us and make sure that we're not. Because huh. we're gonna have to pay all sorts of taxes and shit, and I don't know. But yeah. we're gonna. 
I think we'll be okay. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit! That's um, congrats. Yeah, there probably is something in the walls, but I figured. <laughs> yeah. Who gives out. a fuck? Like. Yeah. Yeah. They're giving me all the money, so. Take yours. Damn. Wild, wild. Uh, I have no idea. How Maybe the wild. craziest. I would love. Yeah. An explanation. And now yeah. you can buy a house that's like, out of your means, but not anymore. Yeah. Yeah. That's I want that to happen to incredible. me now. That's yeah. my dream. Uh, it was horrifying. Uh, it still is kind of horrifying, I guess. Yeah. I, until this all the, goes all the way through. Should we? Should we do it like a big search though to make sure there's no treasure? I w I wouldn't hate it. Yeah, maybe like the last week I'm in the house, we could yeah, all yeah, we should yeah. Yeah. go so through, through it. Treasure hunting. Go through a knock on walls. And I'll bring my magnifying glass. See if. That is crazy, man. Damn. Yeah, it was but crazy because now... you, you asked me about it yesterday. Yeah, I was I like, I was like, yeah, we're kind of. I told you we had thrown the number out, but hadn't heard anything, and I I was not surprised that we hadn't heard anything because why would we have heard? Like you'd have to you'd have to literally be insane to. <laughs> yeah. And then they called last night and they were like, "All right, that sounds good." I have no idea what the story is. The best thing, other than buried treasure, I think that like this guy sold us a house and then his wife was mad and wants to just go back to the life they had, and he's trying to save face with her. That's Maybe probably it's just, it. I mean, and changing just your like, address is annoying. Yeah, yeah, it could be that. Yeah, that was it. Um, so they didn't wow. really want to go to the post office. They want to update like all their accounts. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah, so that's awesome. That's though. insane. Yeah, like and we even we even like threw in there like we're not doing an inspection. There's not like yeah, yeah, just, like yeah. Just, you guys just sold it to us. So if you think the house right might be fucked up, then why did you sell it to us in the first place? That's incredible. Wow. I have no idea. I feel like I won the lottery. Is he something. like? Yeah, you did. I kind of did. You yeah. that is a lottery. I know one. what the numbers are. And you did. <laughs> you hit a fifty-fifty. Yeah, many yeah, yeah. fifty-fifty. Yeah. <laughs> he hit like a like a Edmonton Oilers. Playoff game 50 50. <laughs> <laughs> but no 50. It was 100. 100. <laughs> 100, 100 of the 50. Yeah. Um, so, anyway. Did he come across as like unreasonably urgent to get well, this done? Yeah, the whole thing did. Yeah, a little bit. Um, still. I don't know. We're still like, we're more in the driver's seat on this one. So, like, I they want us out by June, which, like, I, we're happy to accommodate if, if we can. Like, if, if we start going down that road and we realize it's not going to be feasible we're going to ask to like you know make some adjustments here or there but um yeah i i, I it feels like a, this guy has never been told no in his life and he just <laughs> and he still hasn't yeah he still hasn't <sighs> tj yeah. you got to play that video you just sent me yeah congrats mark that's awesome yeah that's <laughs> yeah, super that sweet is. what a story and i hope it's not over yeah same <laughs> same i hope that, i, mean? uh, I want to uh Oh, this this is this Brandon walking? It's just him walking. It's just him walking oh, back goes. and forth. He's just walking. It's a hawk or a walk. What a crazy person! <laughs> like to. I know he fell once. <laughs> <laughs> but like, of all the ways to just like, so I, I like out? I like the idea. It's like I want to just get up and move. Just to to walk baseline to baseline. And he's not even walking brutal. with pace. He's just walking. You could do you could do laps, you could go up and down the stairs. <laughs> he's the just real yeah, I get so it. bored. Yeah. He's just walking. You could dribble a basketball with as you're walking. To yeah. Kind of make it Do you think he had headphones more entertaining? In? He had to have. Yeah, or like you know, instead of walking, like sprint a couple times and then just be done. Even a light jog would have been twenty minutes of it. Brandon, we just watched you walk. <laughs> He's nowhere to be seen. He's definitely found food. Uh, this is a food gap for him. He right smelled now. food. <laughs> yeah. This is long enough where it's like food has been acquired. Was we, he trying to eat healthy again? Yeah, he ended up eating my Chick-fil-A mac oh. and cheese. Oh, oh. oh nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're the worst. Remember, I mean, I still am mad at him for that one time when we did. Uh, I can't remember. I think it was opening day, like two years ago, when we got hot dogs and he refused to eat a hot oh, dog because he had just started a diet that oh day. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah. And he was off his diet like seven days later. He would not eat a single hot dog. That was like a week long. Yeah, it was like a week what long diet. Trainer? Yeah. He had the trainer and the trainer. He called the trainer. The trainer was like, don't eat a hot dog. He's like, got to listen to my trainer. Maybe 10 days later, he was done with the trainer. Of course. That's right. I forgot he got a trainer. He yeah. Really... Yeah. 
That I remember how mad that made me. <laughs> he just was like, he also picks. It's always about this time, Brandon. Remember that time? You, you oh, wouldn't I, eat the hot dog. I know why it's this time. That was a dick move by you. No, it wasn't. Yeah, it, was. it was opening day. No, it was a dick move by you because I was for once taking my health seriously and trying to be serious about what I ate and everything, and y'all just made me eat a hot dog. Che, can you go get Caruso? He's here. No, it's the time of year, though. It's where you get a sprinkled in. I just was in. at a baseball game and wouldn't eat a hot dog. Nobody's making fun of him. Is this go no, around that's different? literally what happened. They all made fun of me. And I was just like, whatever, I don't want to eat the hot dog. And then what? I just no, didn't this, eat the hot dog. I, because this this time I'm doing it, I don't have a trainer who's telling me what to do. Mm. I'm just doing it myself. So if you asked me to eat a hot dog now, I would eat it. And then probably have some chicken nuggets and chase it with a milkshake. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm just kind of freewheeling this one to see how far I can go. But the 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 catalyst here is when I get here early in the morning, I have nothing to do, and instead of using that time to nap or do nothing, I'm going to do something. So this is this this health kick you're on was born out of boredom more so than a desire to have a healthier mm -hmm. lifestyle. Well, I know that I needed to have a healthier lifestyle. Okay. Is that your goal to just be healthier to look better, look skinnier? Are you staving off a midlife crisis? God, no. I mean, working at Barstool is a fucking midlife crisis for five years now. I would think it's the opposite. No, this has pretty much been my midlife crisis. Really? I no, but midlife crisis is like you got to like, you like buy a like Corvette. Buy a gun. Yeah, I just bought a bunch of shoes. Hmm. I guess, yeah, you're right. I yeah. see what you're that saying. Count. Yeah. I see what you're saying. I, I, I dress like a, like a, like a 17 year old now. Yeah. 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 That's true. Out. Jacket don't even fit. Mm -hmm. Nah, it fits. We yeah, were, just, fits we were just, kidding. We were, we, were yeah. we, we got you. It's well. That was smokes put us up to that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> got your ass. Oh, I don't have my shoes. Uh, we watched you walk, Brandon. By the way. Why? Uh, I don't know. It was fun. I had to piss too. So everybody's everybody's leaving. Uh, Alex Caruso is coming. What? What are they doing? I have no idea. They're going to the bathroom together. <laughs> I just had one of those frustrating bathroom things where I went to that one, and when I got there, there was the custodial cart. Yeah. Blocking the door, cleaning it, mm -hmm. which is wonderful that happens. But then I had to had to walk all the way over there to yeah. pee. We thought you were seeing. But I could have just gone. Do you think the better play is go all the way over there or just, just slide in the women's bathroom and pee real quick? You could. It's pretty empty in there. There's there's <laughs> no. there's five women here and four bathrooms. For you you. It, is, can, it is true. <laughs> it's a great place to poop. I'll tell you that. Are you Whoa. just really trying to... From what I've heard. ...to destroy all the great things people I've are saying heard. about you today? Yeah. Took I a real know. growler this morning. <laughs> it really messed things up. Just kidding. I'm putting about. my shoes back on. <laughs> I didn't even think about using the women's room. That's a great idea. It is yeah. very nice in there. Especially early in the morning, right? When nobody's here. Yeah, yeah. I could just shit wherever. Hey, Jake. Mm. I don't like that look. He doesn't look confident today. Oh, okay, yeah, he's got a... He's, he's worried about Alex Caruso because he's got to play goalie. Yeah, him. that's what that's it was. True. Yeah. 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 Hey, come on in. What's up, brother? Yeah, yeah. I know right here. Hello, how are you? Alex, nice pleasure. You. Hey, what's up, man? Shooter. Ooh. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. wow. Wow. You just, uh, that's big time. You just made Titus just, stay yeah. right there. You just that's made incredible. Hey. Wow. Dude, I, I'm, I, I, don't worry. I watched the concert. <laughs> what's, what's up, up brother? Mook. Oh, that's Mook. nice. Good. Alex. Good handshake, yeah. So, dude, what's up? Absolutely nothing. <sighs> Grinding away the season. Yeah. This has got to be the part of the season where it's like, you guys have been playing a lot of basketball. Yeah, dude. Well, here, yeah, we put the like mic closer. Yeah. yeah. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Right. Now we're talking. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, dude. I mean, we're at the Shit. point. We got like six games left, so it's just like, yeah. Tape a lot everything of up and go. Yeah. You get three days off right now. So have you seen the uh, Yak Gauntlet before? Yeah, 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 of course. Okay, all right. So you oh, yeah. are you feeling confident? The only part I'm worried about the 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 soccer, the shot. What's what's our guy's name in goal? Mouse. Mouse. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's an animal. He's yeah. insane. <laughs> he's an animal. Insane. <laughs> I've seen the clips. Like I know he's good. And then I never played baseball growing up, so I'm a little worried about that. But other than that, you don't have to hit it very far. 
Yeah, it does look further. Yeah. And oh, then uh, yeah, actually swing softer. Yeah, don't. That's the mistake we all make is we try to mm. swing very hard yeah. on the baseball. Yeah, ball. contact is key. Yes, but yeah, I think you're gonna crush this. Then you gotta do the sporkle. Are you good at trivia? The, There's the, at the end you have sit to down sit down and, and yeah. you have to answer uh, ten questions. It's all random. Oh, I thought it was just once you're once you're like back in the seat, it's done. You're no, 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 it's no, just no. beginning, buddy. Okay. But listen, you the sporkle will be fine because we big had, trivia guy. Yeah, we yeah, had, yeah, well, yeah. We had the Tigers big here on guy. Friday, and and Spencer Spencer Torkelson, who was the one number one pick in MLB in like 2020, he sat down and he asked what a vowel was. Didn't so know you, what a vowel was. You're okay. <laughs> Damn. Like that's right. the well. Hold on, hold well, on. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah well, do you know what a vowel is? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Okay, all right. That's Give us an shit. example of a vowel. Um, a. Okay, yeah. all right. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> there we go. He fucking knows his vowels. Awesome. Let's start. Hell yes. I did. I had to go to college for four years, so yeah. I didn't have a choice. I learned. Uh, all right. So should we do it, Brandon? Are you gonna walk him through it? I'm got. I got him. Yep. All right. All right. Here we go. Yeah. Fuck yes. I should go sweatshirt off, huh? Whatever you want. I think so. If you beat my time, I'll actually you're probably one of the people. I see everyone doing, but I don't know the. You're, you're one of the people I'd be fine if you beat my time. Sub three minutes is deemed. Three minutes. Sub yeah. Three minutes is really yeah, good. it's doable. One twenty six is the record. Cam Newton was like seven minutes, so you're good. Seven minutes. Yeah, he struggled with football. All right. mm -hmm. <laughs> Out of all the things. But don't worry, nine minutes is the worst time. So you got. What are you pointing at, Brandon? Well, as long as I don't get last, we're good. Yeah, no, you oh. won't get last. Yeah. The guy who has last, last missed 73s. Oh, is that many, right? 703. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, you got to. No, oh, hold on. Hold them. You just got to put them down. It starts. Yeah, as soon as you make it. It what starts it? when he says go. You pick up the bag. Yeah, yeah. As soon bag, as you make soccer, one bag, soccer, baseball. football, football, hit a three, hit a three, sit in that chair. Sporkle. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Wait, wait, am I behind this line? No, 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 no. Am, I just, am, I just, am I just here? This gold thing right here. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Copy. Drop the bag. All right. Oh, you got to drop the bag. Got to drop the yeah, bag. I, I told bag. him to drop the bag, but he wouldn't. So he I said didn't. you can't hold them. <laughs> 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 he wouldn't. Well, you, like, can you can hold them. You can grab a bunch after you start. Yeah. yeah. Got you, got you, got you. Yeah. Uh, all right. You ready? Yeah. Born ready. Three, two, one, go. Ah. All right, here he goes. Oh! oh, oh here we shit. go. Oh, here we go. Shit. He's gone. Oh, oh, oh he fooled him, too. Oh, oh that was that a nice was... shot, though. Now you can score from anywhere. You can score from anywhere. Take it in. Oh. Oh. Fancy footwork. Oh! Oh! oh. 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 All right, Mal. There we go. Right. There we yeah. go. By the way, we have to talk real quick. We're gonna spin the wheel when he comes back after he finishes, yeah. and that will be the you forgot your hug wheel. Got so it. we're not gonna tell him. Got so it. then when we finish the yak, whoever lost has to stand up and say you forgot yeah. your hug. Oh, All right. Oh, there it is. I feel oh, like I being tall is a disadvantage for this football one. Yeah, it might be. He's doing it smoothly. Oh, what a oh. shot! Never mind. Three pointer. See if you can shoot. Titus, are you just buzzing? Oh, my God. That's the, that's the greatest thing anybody can Russo say. Russo came in. He goes, what, what up? He, he said, what up, shooter? Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. That was incredible. Uh -oh. Look at this. I'll be riding that high all day. Okay. Oh, there we go. Oh, my God. Whoa, whoa. Oh. oh, no. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh. oh, my God. Don't get hurt. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Was that Brandon. real on Brandon's oh. part? That's been my biggest oh. fear. Oh. Oh. oh, no. We got to tell oh. you about that. All right, come sit down. Sit down. Oh, he's good. He's oh, good. he's fine. Talking to this mic right oh, here. Oh, all right, so this is these are the categories. Yeah. All right, we can help you get going. Ten NBA teams who have never won a championship. You can do as many from any category. Any category you want to do, you can do. Seven C's. Yeah, seven C's. Four well, main U.S. Four. four main U.S. time Pacific, zones. Pacific, Mountain, Central, Eastern. Yeah, there we go. There we go. You're you're buzzing now. <laughs> 10 NBA teams have never won a championship. You got any of those? Dude, that's a lot of stuff. Two first names. Main Jolly Rancher flavors. Well, we got blue raspberry. Yep. Watermelon. All you got to do is get 10 totals. So don't worry about it. Green apple. Grape. Oh. Is that it? Uh, you got two more you got to get. Uh, any, no, category, Jolly any category. Any category. You crushed. This man knows Jolly oh, Seven Rangers. seas. Yeah, any yeah, of the oceans. Of candy. What is, what oh, is you need to get one more. What's the, da, 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 da. Name any ocean. 
I feel like you should get the Wait, where's seas. the name any ocean? It's seven seas. Seas. That's not ocean. Oh, no, that's seas. seas. Oh, pardon me. <laughs> I think Kate. <laughs> I mean, is it an ocean? You can seas? get 10 NBA teams if you ever won a championship. I, I just list all the teams, huh? Um, Orlando Magic. That's it. There you go. Yeah. There you go. You did it. Oh, I just have to get one of them? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, we probably yeah. didn't explain that well. Dude, it was just ten total. Who did? Who did the? Who did the yeah, gauntlet and hit that the other day? Uh, it, it yeah, was, who uh, did? It wasn't it? like you. You almost was kid busted you. No, Golki. Oh, Golki. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I Golke. saw that, and the one thing in my head was like, all right, after you make the shot. Dude, dude that was, you crushed that. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty good. That was a, dude, the baseball. I'm t- but baseball. Yeah, the two. I got to remember talking to Mike. The two things y'all talk to us about. Oh yeah, that's a yak gauntlet, gauntlet hat. Gauntlet Hell shirt. yeah, brother. Yeah. Uh, two things we talked about: guy and goal. Yeah. Yep. He's a Alex demon. A, yeah, he's he's he's. And the, you had good shots. That that second shot was like a a perfectly placed shot, but he's yeah. it's know. really all he does here. <laughs> I was about to say I haven't seen him anywhere else. No, he doesn't do anything else. <laughs> yeah, he's just, that's all he does. He literally that's does nothing he's else. Here. He's got to have pretty to, good. What was the final? Two forty two. Two forty two. So you are ahead right. of. So you're right by Kyle Long and Brandon Marshall. You did this in a minute and 26 seconds. I had the perfect Same. Just per- first time. Didn't first matter. time everything, hit all the threes, hit 3-3, three, three, and then the sporkle was like, some of the sporkles are like, name four AFC, the four AFC West teams. Like, and you just see it and you just go. Yeah, we'll have to get me back and do it again. And, yes. And, that was, yeah. I. you could definitely get sub twos and maybe break the record because I feel like we probably didn't explain sporkle that well. If I, if never I, did. Yeah. If I like, Go try hard mode. I think I can do it. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's our. I don't know if, if the, you had gotten hurt though. Cl- that going trip over the cornhole. Board. Wait, so did Brandon was, trip as well, or yeah, was that? Yeah, a, Brandon I, also it tripped. Look, it was a bad look. He <laughs> grabbed. He grabbed your shoe. I tripped, and then he tripped, <laughs> grabbing my shoe. Uh, <laughs> and he's probably hurt. I made the next shot though. Like, I yeah, think that was the one. That was almost oh, our uh, curb himself. moment with Shaq. Yeah. With her, <laughs> oh her my god! Stretching his legs. And Russo's tripped, now on the. Brandon, you all right? I'm all right. I hurt my finger. Oh, oh, no. No. <laughs> I knew you got oh, hurt. No. What happened? Oh, I hurt my so finger tough. rescuing your shoe. Can we see the replay? Uh, you, you have that already? You fell? Yeah, I fell just getting this shoe. Oh, no. Is you your finger you hurt? You didn't see that thing? Dude, I, we, we talked about it. I remember I watched somebody do it the other Volky day. Volky did it, yeah. yeah. And, and I was like, oh, number one rule, don't Watch trip out on the bags. <laughs> And then, Actually, sure the design enough. of the course is probably poor. Yeah, no, it's yeah. Not, no, but yeah. at this point, it's it's part of the challenge. Yeah, yeah. No, it is. Like, don't, but yeah. it is don't get tripped by the. You're cornhole. like frenzied, and you're like turn around and run that way, and yeah. there's just a big cornhole. We have to leave it now. We yeah. have to leave oh, it's it. So stressful, it's stressful. I want to see Brandon's injury. I just I just scraped my finger. <laughs> Break my finger. Oh, no. KB, you call. I love that y'all already have this one. Oh yeah, yeah. there's your fall, but that's your fault. Right here we go. Okay. Oh, there we go. Oh my God. Whoa, whoa. Oh, oh, no. oh, 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 Brandon. Oh, <laughs> I didn't fall yet. <laughs> How the hell did that happen? <laughs> that was the most avoidable. <laughs> no, because by the time my body got down to get his shoe. <laughs> It was already done. <laughs> it was. It was. Yeah. It wasn't getting back up. No, the momentum was going. <laughs> oh man. That was easily a ten seconds right there, but I appreciate that. It could have been. Yeah. Could have been the difference I, your between. Shoe, your, no, that's what I'm saying. I didn't even know where it was. Yeah. <laughs> really wasn't worried about it. You know, yeah, had one just, shot left. Just a shoe. Yeah. yeah. Oh. And then you hit the shot. That was impressive. All right. Well, thanks for doing that, Alex. Yeah, I appreciate it. What was this yeah. time? Uh, two forty-six. That's solid. Six. Yeah, solid. very solid. Yeah. Um. All right, TJ. You want to spin our wheel? We already did. No, we get the other wheel. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. You know that wheel. Yep. Oh, uh, who's going to give me a hug? Oh! No! <laughs> I want. Y'all act like I don't. Yeah. Oh, oh, shit. Bars. Uh, oh, yeah. Shooter. <laughs> Dude. Shooter on shooter. Russo's a legend. <laughs> you just knew that was yeah. coming. Yeah. What a great plot twist. Yeah. <laughs> who's going to give me a hug? <laughs> Where's your hug, bro? I was excited I for you, that. I watched all the content. I watched who's who's who had the birthday case race. We all painted y'all's faces and uh, sasses. Yeah, that one yeah. was bad. I watched the whole thing. You're oh welcome to come Holy to shit. one of the case races. Yeah, yeah, maybe oh, in the summer. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> you do the hugs. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> all right, your hug, bro. Oh. I like how you tried to conceal it too, like that wheel. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That might have blown it. Shit, shooter. 
What a compliment, Titus. Oh, I'm um this is this is one of the best days of my life. Yeah. That's what I oh, that's why right whenever now. whenever y'all did the the free throw challenge and I was watching and he was Yeah, well, hitting that's, everything. It's incredible. You know? It's all I can do. Well, what At what do. point would you have come yeah. if I had texted you being like, We need you? Um Or would you have let us die? No, because I think I wanna say we f- we were flying back from a game, so I was already up. Like <sighs> I, I was already I was already kinda up. So yeah. I probably I mean I would have came. I would have <laughs> It was. It was electric. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And if anyone breaks our record, we're gonna have to do it again. Yeah. Which I mean, is gonna. People are trying, I think. No, I'm saying a team. Uh, a team. Yeah, a team. Yeah, yeah. It does yeah. feel like. We... I think people are like conglomerates. No, 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 NBA team. If an NBA got team. It. Oh yeah. yeah, got it. That was the record was the for record, right? most free throws in, consecutive in a, in a game, I believe. That was one game. I believe it was one game. It might not have been one game. It might have been just consecutive. Over the course. Did yeah. Mantis do like a 80 hour stream? He did, yeah. I think trying he still to, has to go back and do it. He was trying to hit a hundred in a row, but I didn't realize blindfolded. his hundredth had to be a hu- blindfolded. So he got to ninety nine four times. Oh, yeah, that's insane. Insane. <laughs> what? Yeah, four <laughs> times. He got, he got why did he get all that? the way there? He could have just done a hundred. He also like, awesome. said, "We're not doing the blindfold thing anymore." No one needed a blindfold. No one yeah. needed a blindfold. A yeah. hundred in a row is impressive. Yeah. How long do you think it would take you to get a hundred in a row? If we, uh, I was about to say the the. The days in the summer where I'm like working out and I'm going for it, and if I get, if I get like a certain amount of row, like I usually do like sets of ten to finish my workouts, but like one couple of days during the summer I'll get going and I'll just see how many I can make in a row. And I think last summer was like 106. Holy yeah. shit! Yeah. Damn. But Damn. with both, you know, being yeah, both eyes, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's an important part of this. Yeah. Both eyes. Um, all right. Well, thank you for coming on the yak. We're gonna go do PMT. Hell yeah. Alex Caruso, Yak Legend. We got to have you come back and do the gauntlet and beat you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> when I, this is off hug. season gauntlet mode, you know? Yes. Get yeah. me in the summer. That's, that's, yeah, that's we, we're going to have a day too when Dan's not here where we're just going to do it over and over and over until yeah. someone just, breaks his record. Yeah, 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 so you can I mean, call, you can yeah, call for me, that one. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Is that real? I think we, yeah, I think we, we just, we've talked about it. We've talked dates. How awesome would it feel? But that would I feel, if we were like two days in, that would feel. You just never beat it? Yeah, we never beat it though. Like, how. Even that would be awesome. Uh, if, I mean, I or I, actually, the cheat. best would be if you guys did it and it took you like five hours and then the next day I came and beat and you. And beat it again. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. Th- th- yeah. You will still find a way. No, you're right. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. It's more that I want to see it be beat. What, what's, the, what's the origin? Who came up with the, the game? Me, yeah. that's why I probably. He was bored on yeah, a Friday what, and he, right. said, yeah, yeah. he said, hold on. Put all he the did say, hold on. I got it. That was how it happened. Yeah. Hold on a second. We just didn't have anything to talk about on a Friday. Yeah. And it was boring. And now the fact that we have like what like a dozen professional athletes have done it mm-hmm. feels like more than that it's great just see wherever yeah cam newton really he did we, he not we, try though or we, he did we try that was weird move him on from football yeah he cam couldn't throw yeah. football because i think he still wants to play and he couldn't hit it <laughs> he was also that's weird. surprising yeah we were that's like go to, just go to the next one dude yeah that one was tough so funny. and the and the worst time which will never be top was our guy jeff d low he he what was it, 73 I think it was 87. Missed? 87 threes he missed. <laughs> <laughs> in a row. Yeah, uh, well, he made two. He made two, well, so yeah, yeah, it yeah. must have been like 50 in a oh row. Oh, my God. Nine minutes and 30. Yeah, I did it blindfolded and beat him by a minute. Not only did Full he miss them all, not only like, did he miss the them all in a row, he missed <laughs> them all the exact same way. He was he was short the no. exact same amount. No adjustments. Exa- no, zero adjustments. Yeah, zero adjustments. Yeah, zero adjustments. It was the it exact was like, same shot over and over and over and over. It was like his peak strength could only get him <laughs> a foot away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's never gonna... Everything in his body. I mean, that's a that's a uh, is it still high school? These are high school lines, yeah. Is high yeah. school still there? They don't do the they don't have the space between? I, I don't think so. I think there's So that's still, as close as you can yeah, get. Yeah, you like can't get closer. Yeah. You you that's you Yeah, you really can't. <laughs> the only Poor thing Jeff. you could have done <laughs> is, is make the nets smaller. Yeah, shorter. That's yeah. Give him a kid's scene. ball. Yeah. He yeah. should have. <laughs> he probably had a couple of women's balls mixed in. Oh, they were no no no. By the end I was only women's balls. I was feeding women's balls. Jay <laughs> <Dr. Ball>, uh, <laughs> was out there. Me and him were feeding women's balls. <laughs> He's gonna have to do pop a shot next time. Yeah. Just to save it. Man. Oh, shit. Uh, all right. Well, that's the yak. Thanks, Crusoe. Oh, that's Legend. close too. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then listen to Fridays and be on PMT. We're about to tape that interview. So we'll see everyone tomorrow. All right. Peace. Yeah, it's time
talk shop or do a Yankee swap is the act. It's the act. See you tomorrow, bye.